Hi, Emily. How are you? Hi, Michelle. How are you? Oh, you're sick, Emily. That's not good. What's wrong? Have you got a cold or is it something else? And how are you, Michelle? No, Paul's got a, a problem with his plumbing. <laughs> so he's been stuck on the phone for over two hours with the insurance. So um, I just thought I'll, I'll just come on for a little bit myself because we haven't been on since Thursday. But, uh, yeah, so I'm on my own. <laughs> I'm just going to share um, this live. If um, everyone that shares, I'm going to put them in a draw for a free mini reading. Um, yeah. So viral infection. Oh, conjunctivitis. Oh, I've had that before. Yeah, they're not meant to be packing my house up. Isn't it terrible? It, you know what, Emily? You're probably run down. And that's why you've become sick like that. It, it all these things always happen when you've got things that you have to do. You know, like in your case, moving, and um, that's not good. Have you got stuff to take for it? Oh, I got caught driving today unregistered. Oh my goodness! Didn't even know the car. Didn't even know the car was out of rego. <gasps> Oh, my goodness, Michelle. Oh, my goodness. That's not good. You're in Australia too, aren't you? How many points would you have lost? Yeah, no, Lee, I'm by myself tonight because um, Paul's got plumbing issues um, that he's got to fix up. It's quite urgent. He's had to shut all his water off. So um, he, he, I just thought I, I miss, I actually, I love coming on. So I just thought, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I just thought that um, even if I come on for a little bit and do some readings, but I'm just quickly going to um, share uh, this live. Um, oh. So they didn't take any points off you. You're lucky because, you know, something like that, you think, you know, more three or more points. So, yeah, I can imagine the fine must be pretty big for that. Um, hi, Becky, how are you? I'll just quickly share. Um, no, I remember once. I was driving and um, this is when you used to actually put the rego on your car and I had actually put it on the car but I hadn't paid it yet and I think it may have been due that day or it was due, I can't remember, and I saw all these cars being pulled over and I was so lucky that um, they didn't stop me. I was so lucky. They had really stopped so many cars. Yeah, no, thanks, Lee. Yeah, no, he's not having a very good run. Um, and, yeah, and because he lives in like a terrace house, so the toilet or and everything is upstairs, so when you turn all the water, it all goes through the ceiling. So he's in dire straits at the moment. Um, so he had to shut the water. But, you know, if you don't have water going through, 
um, you can't do anything. So sorry, I'm just finishing off sharing. $680, that's almost as much as the Red Joe, Michelle. That is almost as much as the Red Joe. Oh, my goodness. I bet you you're never going to forget to pay that again. Um, <laughs> that is a lot. Doing wonderful. I hope you're well this morning. Yes, I am, Becky. I'm doing really good. Thank you. I'm glad you're doing well and wonderful. Yeah, Michelle, um, you've got to be lucky to it. To um, <laughs> it, it, it's um, even just to be picked up. You know, it's like even someone that wouldn't normally drink, and then you know you've gone out one night or one lunchtime. You've had something at work. And then, sure enough, there are booze buses. Oh, Emily, yes. Emily K, you shared. So I'm going to put you in the drawer. Yeah, so um, okay, we've got police here everywhere at the moment too because we're in a lockdown again. Um, my... Yeah, so we're in lockdown again. Uh, so I'll be working from home this week. But, yeah, there's police everywhere. That's not good, Michelle. Oh, that's um, sad to hear, Emily. Oh, you've got just antibiotics for your ear. Hi, Regan. Yes, Regan, I'm on my own. Um, Paul's got plumbing issues. <laughs> Is trying to get, um, yes, it's all of Melbourne, Lee. Um, it's a tier four. So um, I'm lucky because I, I bought the laptop home, so I'm working from home. But, like, some people, they can't work and a, a lot of businesses have, like, shut down. And um, it's only essential services like food, um if you need and um, like medical things so um i'll just check because sometimes i know that the um the sharer badge doesn't come up uh let's see no it doesn't come up um oh yeah it does actually i'll put your name in it yeah michelle it came up on the other because i checked somewhere out so that's all right i'll put your name in um and i'll just pull out randomly it's just easier because it's hard i want to do it for a reading for everybody and it's hard just to select someone so um just doing a draw it's much easier I don't feel as guilty because uh, <laughs> I just pull the names out. So I'll just put you in, Michelle. And Lee. So Lee. How's your mum going, Lee? Has she come home yet? Do you know how much longer she'll be in hospital? And has Shania, her baby's not that far off now. <gasps> Regan, I'm going to put your name in as well, Regan. What we can do is um, if I pull your name out, you can also um, come on here and, and then I'll have someone to talk to. 
It just feels weird talking by myself. I don't have anyone to pick on. So as long as you don't mind me picking on you when you come on, uh, <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm talking to myself. I'm doing well, Regan. Yes, thank you, Regan. We are. We're in lockdown again. So, poor, but you have a, been, uh, yeah, we, we're kind of used to it now. Um, and, you know, I don't even go to the supermarket anymore. I, I haven't been for over a month. I've just been getting my groceries delivered because do you know when it first happened here, it was so scary. It was so scary. I almost was in tears in the supermarket. There was nothing on the shelves, nothing, nothing, nothing. And I know that people were queuing up um, just outside the um, the storeroom because apparently the truck had come in with the toilet paper, of all things. And I just, lucky because um, <laughs> I think it's just my upbringing. My mum always had stacks of everything and I it's just become a habit. So I had some in my garage. But um, it is quite scary. Oh, really? In the next week or two? Oh, are they? Oh, wow. Okay. So what did they do, Regan? Did they have to turn back? Oh, so they're waiting in Sydney. Oh, okay. Colonoscopy. <gasps> Almost. Hi, Andrew. How are you? Hey, are you free? You want to pop on for a bit with me? Paul's having plumbing issues. Hi, Claire. How are you, Claire? I don't think I've seen you on here for a while, Claire. Um, so I've, I've put a few people in. There's not many this time. So everybody that shares will go in there. Oh, that's not good, Andrew. You got a cold. Oh no. Are you still working, Andrew, or are you in lockdown as well? I, I'm, I'm actually working from home. So, you know, here, even if you've got a cold and you know it's just a cold, um, you just don't go to work because people will start, they start looking at you. And I remember um, I went to get something at the chemist and while I was waiting, um, they had, I think it was close to Mother's Day, and while I was waiting, they had, um, you know, how they have those perfume displays, and I'm a sucker for perfume. And so here I, I, I you know, I go over to the um, the perfumes and, you know, I'd smell them. I don't like spraying them on myself, so I'm, I'm collecting all these cards and trying to smell them and everything. And then all of a sudden I had that tickle in my throat. So <coughs> I started coughing. Oh, my goodness. The um, one of the sales ladies was um, like straight there, and I thought, oh, you know, I hope they don't think that I've got it or something. Um, but I think she realised I wasn't sick; I just had a tickle in my throat. You're at work at the moment, or you're still working? <laughs> oh, Claire! All right, Claire, I'm just going to put you on. Claire McNamara. So, okay, yep, Claire, I got you in there. I'm using a towel as a hanky. <laughs> Andrew! <laughs> it's been all day nose dripping like a tap. Hi, Cheryl. 
So, Andrew, what you do is you recite this poem. My nose, my nose is dripping like a hose. <laughs> you know, um, your nose must be so red. I try and use those aloe vera tissues. I was okay yesterday just when I woke up this morning. Yeah. Oh, you just have to make sure you probably have an early night or something. <laughs> hey, Lee, I once had a cold and um, I don't know what came over me. I sent an email to my son who was at school and I actually put that poem in there. You know, my nose, my nose is dripping like a hose. And um, he showed it to me months later. He said, do you remember what was going through your mind when you sent this? And I looked at it and I thought, oh, my goodness, I must really go nuts sometimes and I don't even realise it. <laughs> oh. But um, what's everyone up to anyway? Hey, um, just for every, everyone else that's on that's new, if you share this live, and um, you have the sharer badge. I'll put you in this drawer and um, I will um, just pull out names randomly and do a, a mini reading. Um, I use oracle cards and I read intuitive, intuitively uh, from them. If you would like a guaranteed reading, um, I have pinned the um, donation details at the bottom. Yeah. Do you know, Lee? Um, my son once was asked to describe his mother and my my son, yeah, he was asked to describe me and I actually, I heard him being asked that question and so I was thinking, oh, my God, what's he going to say? And he paused for a moment and then he said that, that I'm vibrant. And I thought, oh, okay, my son, oh. My son thinks I'm vibrant. And I was like, oh, my heart, you know, was I almost had tears coming down my face. And then afterwards we were going home and I said, oh, that was so nice of you. You said that I'm vibrant. And he said, yeah, mum, I couldn't tell him you were crazy. And I thought, oh. <laughs> yeah, no, no, he didn't say Elmo. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's okay, Andrew. I just saw your name and I thought, oh, it just feels weird talking on my own. But, um, yeah, I hope that um, Paul gets his plumbing stuff sorted. Yeah, oh, Cheryl, I just saw you've got Shara on there. So I'm going to put you in. Cheryl Konings. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> oh, so what's everyone else been up to? Tell me a story. Tell me a story. Where's Auntie Mel? Lee staying out of the cold. Yeah, it has been quite cold. And Andrew, yes, you hate the lockdown. Yeah, all the shops are closed unless it's for food. And Cheryl is keeping warm. It is quite cold here, actually. <gasps> you just, yeah, because you said you're moving. Whereabouts um, um, are you moving to, Emily? Because I think you're in Australia, aren't you? I 
I, I really hope that um, you know you're going to be sick for a while because you, you'll be hard at work moving. Maybe once you move, um, make sure your bed's done first. And so that way when you feel like you can't anymore, at least your bed's already made and you can just go to sleep. <laughs> That's what I've done. Every time I've moved, the first things that I make sure are ready are the beds. So the beds are put together first, made up, they're ready. So then you can keep going and doing other things. Uh, and then that way, when you're just zonked out, the last thing you want to do is put together a bed and make a bed. So then that way, at least your bed's made, have a quick shower, whatever, and go to bed. Chinchilla, is where's that? Yeah, I think it's cold all over everywhere, Michelle. You're in Sydney, so I'm in Melbourne. Claire's still tucked up in bed, be getting up in a few. <laughs> Uh, chinchilla is that a oh in Queensland I've never heard of chinchilla I'm trying to think chinchilla reminds me is that that coat some women wear chinchilla I'm wearing chinchilla I, I think I've seen that somewhere in a movie actually hi Ange how are you oh <laughs> You messaged you witchly. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Ange. Yeah, Paul's okay. He's got plumbing problems. And, um, like, he was going to come on, but he was all, he was stuck on the phone for over two hours. Um, and he needs to sort it out because he's had to turn his water off. Unless, if you know, um, he's trying to find a plumber. Apparently, it's a bank holiday there. So you can imagine how much it would cost to on a, like a public holiday. So I don't know. If you know anyone, Ange, um, let me know. I'll, I'll tell him. But, um, yeah, he's trying to find a plumber. So, yeah, and he's had to shut the water off. Bed will be last to move. Okay, have family coming up to help over the weekend. Oh, that's all right. At least you've got people to help you. <laughs> Mel might be servicing the broom. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe um, you know, the engine froze because of all this cold. Three oh, it's three hours from Brisbane. Oh, Francesca! Oh my goodness! I haven't seen you, like, forever. How are you? I missed you. Yes, um, Paul's having um, plumbing, plumbing issues. That's why he's not on. Yeah, I thought they were animals. Yes, Andrew, I'm working from home. I've got the – I was in on Friday because it was skeleton staff on Friday, so it was only me and one other person. But I've got the laptop from work, so I'll be working through till Thursday from home. Um, so, and I have to be really careful because I'm right next to the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> so I have to, um, yeah, maybe t get my son to tie me to the chair or something and only um, release it for toilet breaks or something. So I'm going to have to be careful because I put a lot of weight on in the lockdown last year. It, it, and, yeah, I'm still trying to get it off. Yeah, really, no water bad. I've got no washing. you got no washing machine. Shoot. Oh, excuse me. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah, so he's trying to find someone. Yeah, it, it's hard because, um, you know, you, you're sitting here, like at work at least, you're, you're keeping busy, you're walking to the printer backwards and forwards, up the stairs, into the warehouse. Um, here, just sitting here. And, um, and then I look over and I think, oh, and already I have a vision of what's in my pantry and what's in the fridge. 
And I, I, I just can't get out of my head until I go and get that item and eat it. And the thing is, you forget about what will I do. I forget about all the things I've eaten. So, yeah, I put on a, a stack load of weight last year. So, yes. So I'm just thinking I might do a reading. Um, I've put a few people already into this drawer. Uh, I'm just looking to see if anyone else has shared the live so I can put them in. Oh, yes, Andrew, temptation is really bad for me. You know how people like you can get alcoholics or, um, you know, like with, as addiction to alcohol or drugs, uh, you know, people addicted to things. I reckon that they're, like food is like that as well. I think you can be addicted to food and I think that's my issue too. Um, but the thing is, because I used to smoke as well and I quit a long, many years ago, but I did it cold turkey. I thought, that's it, that's enough. I didn't like the smell, like coughing, everything, you know, and they're quite expensive too. So I thought, no, nah, that's it, and I quit cold turkey. And I tell you, it was hard, um, but I did it. Now, I wish I could do that with food, but what do you do with food? You can't quit that cold turkey. So, you know, I'd be all right if I didn't have to eat it at all. But then when you take, when it's time that you have to eat, the first mouthful, second mouthful, you can't stop. It just keeps going and going. <laughs> so that's the problem. You're addicted to shopping. <laughs> I've got, actually, I'm addicted to that as well, Andrew. Um, I, I, I'm i addicted to that too. I, I have that problem. And um, Sarah Martin, she's I don't think she's on at the moment. It, her and I seem to be similar. Even online shopping, oh, my goodness, especially when you're bored. Oh, what can I buy? <laughs> you start looking. <laughs> so um, it is it is a, a really big temptation. But, uh, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it is a, a really... But I do love getting the parcels, though. All right, I'm going to pull someone's name out and um, I'm going to do a reading. <gasps> do you know, Andrew, I've never bought from Etsy. Uh, I buy a lot from eBay and then I love books. So I, I buy a lot of stuff from Booktopia. Um, it, it just depends or like on the clothing online. So I've never actually bought for Etsy. That's like a creative, like people make things on there. Is that right? Um, is it like, um, eBay? I'm going to pull someone's name out. <gasps> and see who we can get. Who are we going to get? Shine is brilliant. It is, isn't it? Yeah, because I think when I, I've spoken, people, and the light in the box is good. What's that, Claire? Shine. Is that like a light or something? Or is that is that a um, shine has awesome clothes? Oh, okay, I've never been... Oh, my goodness, you're going to get me addicted to another site. Oh, are the sizes good too? Oh, but I, I have to always um, shop plus sizes though. All right, I'm going to pull whose name am I going to pull out? Ooh, whose name? I hope you, whoever's name I pull out, I hope you come on with me here. Light in the box, it's an app for clothes and things. Okay. No, oh, gee. Lee, noise, close and quirky, Sylvana. Oh, P.S. Plumbing, Victoria Street. Hang on, I've got to pin that so I can see what a. Okay, Ange, not far from him. Hope helps. All right, thank you, Ange. I'm gonna. I'm take O seven eight one eight. Two, three, oh, 
517. All right, I'm going to give him that number. Actually, let me message it to him. Uh, let me message him now. Um, Ange, hang on. I'll just tell him that you gave me the, this number, Ange. Oh, uh, by the way, I the name I've pulled out while I'm typing this message is Cheryl Konings. Are you still on, Cheryl? So, Cheryl, um, I'll wait for Cheryl to come on, and I'm just sending Paul this message with a phone number. And uh, Two, three, five, one, seven. Let me just check the numbers right. Two, seven, eight, one, eight, two, three, zero, oh, five, one, seven. Okay, I've sent it to him, Ange. So thank you for that. Uh, yeah, she is. You just want to? <laughs> She's here. Okay. <laughs> Oh, good. All right, just in the messages. Okay. All right, we'll just in the messages. I still have to talk to myself. Oh, my goodness. What am I going to do? I'm going to go crazy on my own in here. All right. Now, I'm just keeping my eye on it. If anyone else has shared uh, so I can put you in the drawer. So Cheryl Konings. All right, let me just bring my cards over. I haven't brought them over. <gasps> Hi, Jackie. How are you? Yeah, it's just me. Uh, uh, Paul is having problems with plumbing. So um, he's looking for a plumber and he was on the phone for quite a while. Um, and then in the end, we thought it, he still couldn't get anyone, and we thought um, he wasn't even even in the right frame of mind to come on. You know, he's quite stressed actually. So I thought I'll just come on for a little bit and um, and chat. If he needs phone, I'll text you direct. Tell him if he needs phone, I'll text you direct. Come use mine. Text in messenger address. Oh, okay. Hi, Leona. How are you? Where did I put my sticker notes? I'm just about to do a draw, Leona, but oh, I see. I can see that you shared, so I'm going to put you in the draw. Um. All right, I'll just see. I don't, I'm not sure whether he saw my message or not, but I'm going to start pulling up some cards here for Cheryl. So quiet. I should put some music on, shouldn't I?
Yeah, Jackie. Um, and for them, where he is, it's a bank holiday as well. So it's a public holiday too. I, I, I don't think he's going to get anyone until the week starts. Uh, and he's had to shut off the water. So I don't know. That's really, it's stressful. I could just imagine. All right, I'll, I'll tell him, Ange. Thank you for that. No, it's not good, Leona. <laughs> oh, you must know I like butterflies. Do you know there was a mug um, that I saw in the shops? This is months ago. And it had butterflies on it. And I didn't buy it because I kept thinking, oh, well, why am I buying a, a one off mug or whatever, you know? Um, you know, and sometimes you, you have too many of these things in the cupboard. But every time I went there, that mug was still there. Um, and in the end, I, I just bought it and I love it. It's one of my favourite ones. Oh, Andrew, yes. I love butterflies. What's, what, what's something that everybody likes? Like, you know, I like butterflies. I love Labradorite. That's a type of crystal. You know, you know, you have certain things that are your favourite things, things that put that smile on your face or light up your heart. What, what's something that everyone has that makes them feel like that, that they really like, something that's favourite to them, apart from food? It was meant for me. Oh, thank you, Leona. Leona loves trees. So do I, Leona. I, I feel I have a connection with trees. I have a connection with water or an affinity with water and trees. Where I used to live, we had a big jacaranda tree. It was beautiful. I actually even used to hug the tree. I know people would think I'm nuts, but um, I, it was like that tree was a person. Okay, Cheryl. Angels, yes. That's lovely, Leona. <laughs> Grandkids. Oh, how do you say that? Phalaenophis? Phal oh, my goodness, I don't know. Orchids. Oh, I'll have to see what they look like. Waterfalls. Oh, nice. Even the sound of them. Leona, love water to running water. Yes, and trees relax. Yeah. I feel like they are. They're like a, um, they're another entity for me. I know, and like if you tell that to anyone, they'd think you're nuts. But, um, yeah, I had this tree and I know like I had a connection to that tree. And, um but even with water. So, Leona, you and I are the same. Okay, Cheryl. All right. Now, I'm just going to show you a card. So, Cheryl, you're still on, right? Oh, you love monkeys. They're so cheeky. Do you know, Lee, I had a monkey 
take my scrunchie once. I was in in a like a, a temple thing in Bali in Indonesia, and um, oh my goodness, I I made sure I took my earrings out, everything, and the monkey took my scrunchie. And there was one time I had one, the one of those plaits, you know, the French braids. I had that, and I think the guy did it on purpose. He must have motioned the monkey to jump on me, and it actually held onto my hair. It was, I it was actually a terror. I screamed my head off, but I mean, it didn't hurt me. They thought it was funny, but it is scary because, especially if you're not used to monkeys, <laughs> uh, they're very intelligent, very clever. Listening to my cats talk to me, ah. Oh, Okay, thanks, Ange. I, I will give it to him. Thank you. Francesca goes walking in the Peak District and find hidden secret waterfalls. <gasps> oh. Yes, Ange, I'll put you in there. Um, Ange. Yes, I. This is you, Ange. I'm, put, I'm putting you in there. Oh, good. Sorry, Cheryl, because <laughs> uh, I'm on my own. I, I'm getting. Uh, <laughs> but I've got your cards pulled out. I'm about to read them to you. The monkeys. I think it depends how you train them as well, Lee. Um, they can be funny, but I think some people train them to do naughty things. I, I actually have a feeling you will probably train the monkey to do naughty things. <laughs> so Ange loves lions, cows. Oh, so you, you must have grown up on the farm, did you? So Francesca likes the monkey from Friends. Oh, I to, to be honest with you, I've never watched Friends. <laughs> what about the monkeys on the Wizard of Oz, the ones that belong to the Wicked Witch? They're scary. <laughs> so there's a place out my way called Windsor Downs where kangaroos just roam the streets. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> Okay, all right. Cheryl's been waiting patiently, so I'm going to do a reading for Cheryl. Now, Cheryl, okay. Yeah, they freaked me out too. They were pretty scary, those monkeys. <laughs> they looked nasty too. All right, so Cheryl, I've pulled out this card for you and see how there's a lady there and she's got those strings attached to and it's like she's a puppet. Now, this is telling me that um, it's like for me to direct to tell you or, you know, to guide you in um, to take control of things yourself. Um, so I hope you know what I mean when I say that. Um, it's like you're being controlled by someone or some people and you need to take control of yourself. Um, and, you know, you can actually do things for yourself. You can run your life yourself. You can write your narrative yourself. Um, that's what I'm getting from this. But I also feel that um, perhaps in the you, you would benefit a lot from going outside and taking in nature, um, you know, and just connecting to it to relieve stress. So I don't know whether this has got something to do with work or uh, like a situation that's very stressful for you. So like going outdoors and connecting with nature would actually help you to relieve um, stress. And um, it will help you to think clearly of, um, you know, what you may want to do or think about things more clearly or to resolve issues more clearly. Now, um, I, you need to also um, focus on love and um, focus on love and light um, and also the love and light that's within people. So, you know, sometimes perhaps when we're put under stress 
or, you know, with people that are controlling us, there is an underlying matter, uh, reason. Um, so just to have no judgments and to have compassion um, for people. But um, I feel that um, there's something that you're overdoing, whether like um, overworking, um, something that you're doing um, too much of that's not good off, whether it's overworking or you're not getting enough sleep. So um, I, I feel that I need to tell you to to change this behaviour and go towards more um, healthier alternatives. But um, I, I've also pulled out the Uncovering Treasure card for you. And, and what this means is Uncovering Treasure is like, you know, you're going to see that um, once you can relieve yourself from this stress, uh, you, you'll see that things that have been right before you, you didn't really see them for what they were. They were an underlying, there were an underlying things to them and they're actually like a treasure. Um, they're more, they have more value to you than what you thought that it did. Uh, so that's all I can really get for you. So I, I feel like you do need to take control of yourself, like for things for yourself. And sometimes I know we, we can't, we feel like we don't have control, but I feel in this case you can do that. So I hope that that helps you, Cheryl. Um, I'm just having a look to see if that resonated with you. Oh, good, I'm glad. I'm glad that um, it does. So normally you would also get a reading from Paul, but um, <laughs> he's, uh, he's uh, poor guy's um, got a lot to deal with at the moment, just realising a lot lately. Yes, yeah, it's, um, you're most welcome, Cheryl. Okay. Okay, so so I saw you guys mentioning that shy shine or something website. So what sort of sizes of clothing has it got? Everyone's gone quiet. Oh, they do plus. They do do plus sizes. Can you tell me the name again, please, Francesca? Because I'm going to write it down. I mean, of all things, I don't really need to have another online shop to shop from. Um, but I'm going to check it out. I like to like different types of clothing. You know, sometimes everything, everyone seems to have the same type of clothing any size good stuff too oh i love buying jewelry as well and crystal jewelry oh it's pronounced sheen okay sheen but it's spelled like that shine but it's sheen okay <laughs> Uh, okay, thank you for that. Hi, Leslie. How are you? You're new. Welcome to our group. If you share the live, I will put you in this drawer. I'm doing um, random readings, many readings. <gasps> Do you shop on there too, Andrew? Is it an app or is it just a website? 
So, um, Andrew, does that mean you shop from there too or you just like shopping online? I would love to live on a farm. I think it would be a lot of work though, wouldn't it? I suppose if you're not used to doing all that sort of work and cleaning up poop and stuff, but I don't know. Oh, my God, Francesca, I've got heaps of crystal jewellery. I reckon you and I. <laughs> I wasn't sure what you were saying me too, Andrew. That's why I thought it was that website. What were you saying, yes, you too? Is it just online shopping? Noise. Yes, Lee, noise. Men's kids. Okay. Shopping for crystals and jewellery. Yes. Yeah. I love it. And I love it when it arrives and you unwrap it. And it's like, um, and sometimes I, especially when it looks even better than what it looked like online. Thank you, Leslie. Yeah, I just checked on there. Sorry. Sometimes I know you don't get the share badge, but I, I check on another page and I can see it. So where's Leslie's? Okay. Leslie Barry. A lot of stuff. Wow. Do you know there was one place that I bought, I would buy crystals from and bought them for a little while. And they gave you an option that where you could tick a box, right? And um, you could tick a box and the box would say, yes, send me a congratulations letter to say that I've won, that I've won this. Um, because you, a lot of people have problems with the people that they live with. <gasps> what else did you buy now? Oh, my God. You know, or people that are living with partners and their partners get upset because too many things, um, you know, arrive. You want to start a sage stick. Have have you used one before, Ange? You can use uh, Palo Santo sticks too. Actually, um, Andrew is a good um, uh, authority on on cleansing and clearing. Online shopping and store, I know. You you're like a magpie. What you sw you swoop down, do you? <laughs> It's, it is like a Christmas gift, Andrew. It's like, wow, you had 15 cows. Did you milk the cows too, Ange? Have you, did you ride the horses? I'd be too scared to go on the horse. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just tick the box and... Um, they wouldn't put an invoice or anything with it. They'll just say, congratulations, this is your prize. You won the draw or something, you know, you won a prize. And so that way if they get questioned, they'll just show that to their partner because, you know, some of them go, oh, my God, you're spending so much money. You have to hold them, yeah. Where do you get your crystals from, Francesca? Hail baling, potato picking. Oh, okay. That's a lot of work. Took the words right out of my mouth. Oh. That reminds me of a song. I won't sing it. Yeah, it smells nice too, doesn't it, Michelle Palo Santo? It's... Um, the word santo means blessed. So it's that 
it's that sick uh st paolo, paolo it's like um a plank uh, it's a blessed plank it's uh, like a latin based word yeah where do you go francesca do you have places around you I'm going to pull out someone else to do a reading for now. I hope this person, next person comes on and joins me so I don't have to talk to myself. <gasps> Hi, Nipur, how are you? Oh, you'll have to go and do a test. You'll have to go and, uh, and get a test and see. Um... Yes, one is called Curious Goods. Oh, my goodness. That sounds like a shop I'd love to go in. Yeah. And that's why it's used for clearing because it's a blessed, it's that wood is a blessed wood. Um, oh, my goodness. It sounds like a shop I would love to go to, Francesca. Oh, there's only one way to find out, Nepal. You go and get a test. Hollywood, yes. Andrew said it exactly. Hollywood, yeah. But not Hollywood as when they do the movies. Holy wood or blessed wood. But yeah, that's um. Holly, um I was going to call you Holly, Paul. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but, yeah, Andrew's got it. Oh, right. Okay. Um, all right, so I, I'm going to do another draw. And we'll see who we pull out. Like to purchase ones from caves too. Aren't closed and they have a blue John crystal. I've never heard of a blue John crystal. And that cave, oh, right. I've never heard of a blue John crystal. Hmm. I I'm assuming it's blue, right? <laughs> Is it for calming? Because usually a lot of the blue ones are for calming. Because, you know, I've, I have a few of the, the blue lace crystals um, and they're beautiful. Even just looking at them, it, you, you can feel the energy, um, calming energy. So I'm about to pull out someone uh, out of here. Uh, we'll see who we're going to get. I hope they're still on because a few people have dropped off, so I don't know. Oh, well, if they're not on, we'll just pull out the next one. Okay. Oh, I don't know if this person's still on. I haven't seen them comment. Claire, Claire McNamara. Are you still on, Claire? Yeah, I reckon you and I should go shopping, Francesca. It's too bad I'm not there. When I do, I intend to come there when they let us out of here. So um, maybe we can go shopping. Yeah, I've put you into the drawer, Leslie. So I don't think Claire's here, so I'm going to pull out someone else. I'll just give her a, a few more seconds in case she is. Oh, actually, oh, my goodness, Ange, you said cup of, cup of tea. I feel like a cup of tea now, and I don't drink tea. I usually drink herbal teas, but all of a sudden I feel like, you know, the other cup of tea. Yeah, now Claire's not here, so I'm going to pull out another one. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We're going to pull out another one. 
Who will it be? Will it be Leslie? <laughs> Let's see who we've got. Okay. Oh, guess who I've pulled out? She, I don't know if she's still here either. Leona, are you still on, Leona? I've pulled you out. <laughs> I think it's what they've discovered when the K was, oh, okay. That's nice. Do you know, I've been to a, a place here um, called Kubapiti and they have a lot of mining. They mine opals there and um, they actually dig into the ground and the caves that they've made under the ground, they then construct them into homes. And I've got photos in my garage, but they're, some places look unreal, like, you know, the living room, the bedroom, and it's so nice and cool. But that area where they're located, those mines, it is quite hot. So it is nice to have an underground home. Yes, there she is. Hey, Leona, do you want to come on? Do you want to come on with me here and I'll do the reading for you here? Up to you, no pressure. If you want to, if you want to come on and, um, or if um, you just want to do it through the comments, that's fine. Yeah, everybody's saying, do it, do it. Oh, she's lying in bed. Oh my goodness, Leona. <laughs> that's all right. Cuba Petey, wow, you haven't heard of that place for a long time. Kata Tujia and Uluru. Yes, I went to Uluru. Um, if, for people that don't know, Uluru is Ayers Rock. Uh, very magical, very magical. And I remember there in the Northern Territory, um, like the red sand everywhere, and I got so used to the red sand um it just felt weird when i came back here and it was normal colored sand it was just unusual not to see it yeah no that's all right leona are you happy for me to do it for you on the comments yeah do you know in western uh, australia um uh there's a lot of people that they can actually depending where they live um, they can actually go and look for crystals themselves. They'll, they'll find them. <laughs> don't put this on your TV, Lee. Don't. You don't want me and my big voice and my big face on your TV. It will be so loud. Your neighbours will complain. You'll have the police knocking on your door. All right. So Leona has said yes. She would like um, on the comments. Okay, so I'm going to start pulling out for Leona. Okay. Now, I think I've done a reading for you before, Leona, but I don't remember what I've done. After I do a reading, I don't remember. So if I say anything that's the same as what I said last time, it would mean that um, you haven't gone over that lesson yet. Those things haven't been done yet, and that would be why. Oh, you're kidding, Lee. Through surround sound? Oh, my good, That would be a nightmare if you did that then. I think, oh, you know what? The walls in your house will crack. If you put me on your surround speakers, your walls will crack. Yes.
Oh my goodness. All right, we'll pull those two out. Okay, that's interesting. Sometimes, you know, when cards fly out, I use those because, <laughs> yes, Lee, noise. Your neighbours won't be saying noise. No. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes when you pull out, like cards fly out, it's just you need to use those because that's what um, you're being guided to, to use. But it's just funny how, like, the ones that, like, the ones that have popped out for you, um yes andrew come on say it noise yours would sound even better because you, you must have a blocked nose can you imagine noise <laughs> noise <laughs> so what would someone sound like that has got a blocked nose noise is that what you sound like andrew <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Was I right, Andrew? Do you sound like that? Because you would have a block nose, surely. Yeah. <laughs> I need to pull out another one from here. I only just clicked who didn't you know who Andrew was, Francesca? Andrew, for people that don't know, is an energy healer. Actually, I've still got his link here somewhere. Um, let me look, 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 look. Uh, where are you? Where are you? I had you here. Here we go. I'm going to post the link here in the comments to Andrew's page. He he's um. He's an energy healer, very good, in fact, even remotely. Like, he can do it remotely. So, um, and he's actually been on the show with Paul and I um, a, a few times now. Yeah, because you're one on, once on with me. Yeah, so you've been on with us a few times. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Andrew, did you see the um, the eclipse? Noise. He is, is an amazing healer. So I just put his link in there in the comments. You can join his page. Um, and even if, like, if you have questions and things, you can ask him. Okay. All right, <clears throat> now I'm not sure if I've picked... Hi, Abby, how are you? Sure, Abby, I'm actually doing a reading right now, but um, I'm putting people in the draw. If you share my live, I will put you in the draw also. Did you watch the eclipse? I oh, And you left the border at the water, so to get the moon water? That's great. That's fantastic, Andrew. Okay, now Leona, what um, what I'm picking up uh, for you is um, you are you are an empath. Uh, you're a, a natural born counselor, and um, you are um, like a lot of people come to you for counselling, um, for advice, uh, just for a shoulder to lean on. 
shoulder to to cry on um and you do pick up a lot of their energies but you know um you are i've pulled out the stepping into power uh card and that is um you know you are a very strong person very very strong and that's what um you're actually able to um withstand all the different energies of everyone that comes to you that is drawn to you for advice but um you do need to ensure that you set those boundaries around you um set the boundaries around you so that and also have a routine where you cleanse yourself um and cleanse your energy to um you know to be able to balance yourself now i i feel that even i mean with an being an empath as well um sometimes even when we give advice and um we have someone that um we feel more drawn to to assist um you can help them perhaps by you know giving them a few guiding ways but we can't fix them ourselves um you need to let them learn their lessons so that they can um you know so that they can they need to learn from it and move on um i feel that you're holding on to something from your past and perhaps this is something that you're trying to fix but it's not possible you need to let your past go so i i hope that that resonates with you um leona and um that it helps you i'd love to know in the uh thank you abby um and uh, that i'd love to know whether that resonated with you so i'm just going to put abby in the draw So um, what we're doing is I'm just, everyone that shares a live, I'm just pulling them out uh, randomly and we'll just do some, uh, and it's only mini readings that I'm doing. What's a micro stick? <laughs> I've never heard of a micro stick. <laughs> is that to smack people away? Is that from when I, I said that you need to set boundaries and you need to, is it like something for smacking people to go away? <laughs> Sometimes you feel like you want to do that. Oh, okay, that's great. Oh, good. I actually don't remember the readings that I do. Once I've done the reading, um, I, I just don't remember. I don't know if it's because, like, I'm guided by spirit um, and when I look at the oracle cards, I, I just go, I see beyond it. Um, so I read them intuitively. And so once I've done the reading, I forget. But then also it could even be age. You know, as people get older, they forget. <laughs> so I don't know. It's one or the other. They sell it in the chemist. What is it? Is it really a stick to smack people with? What? what uh, <laughs> Thank you so much, Leona. That's a lovely comment. Thank you. It is. A, oh, it is a whacking stick for people. Oh, okay. That um, sounds like something, you know, good investing in. Is it um, disguised as something else so people wouldn't think it is a whacking stick? <laughs> You'll have to send me a picture of it. Oh, it relieves the headache. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm going to pull out someone else and um, I'll do another mini reading. No, you put it on your forehead for headaches. So you put the stick on your forehead. How does it stick on your forehead? Is it sticky or something? How would you be walking around with a stick stuck on your forehead? It'd be funny, wouldn't it? Okay, I, I, Lee, I really, I've never ever heard of it. No, you mean the whacker is for people? Okay. <laughs> I see. 
Okay, sorry about that. As seen on TV. <laughs> Andrew, you know about this too. I, well, I haven't I ever heard of this. You're going to have to send me a picture of it. Yes, please, Mont Ali. Thank you so much. Send me a picture of it. You've got me intrigued now. I'm dying to see. And then when Paul comes on with me, if he, you know, if he's annoying me, I'll hold up that stick. Have you really seen it on TV, Andrew? Francesca, that's funny. <laughs> Hi, Rita. How are you? Hey, Rita, I'm about to do a draw now. So if you quickly share my live, I'll put you in in the um in the bowl. In my in my um, stick it note salad. <laughs> I think it clicks as you press the button. Oh my goodness, Lee, you have to remember to send me a picture. I want to see what this thing is. It's as small as a lip balm. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, good luck, everyone. I'm just waiting to see if Rita shares so I can include her as well in the draw. <gasps> yeah, she shared. I can see on the other page. Okay. So, Rita. I don't know why, but I keep thinking of peanut butter all the time when I see you, Rita. I don't know why. All right, Rita, I'm putting you in. Okay. Oh, yeah, here we go. I'm about to do it. All right, here we go. Oh, okay, pull someone out. Okay. <gasps> I don't think she's here. I actually haven't seen her comment anymore. Emily K, are you still on, Emily? I know she was on earlier. If she's not on, we'll pull someone else out. And whoever I pick, um, please, it would be great if you come on to do the reading so I've got someone to talk to. <laughs> so is are you on, Emily? I have a feeling she's not on. No, no, Rita. Um, you have shared. Don't worry, I've already put you in the drawer. Yeah, I don't think Emily's on. Emily! All right, I think it's, as Simone would say, next. Now it's on. Yeah, yeah. No, I saw it as soon as you did it, Rita, because I've got another page open and I had a look. All right, I'm going to pull out someone else. Who are we going to pull out? <gasps> Who are we going to pull out? Ah, I think this person is still on. <laughs> uh, Michelle Meehan, Michelle, come on down, <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> oh, you've sent the picture. I'll have a look at it later, Lee. Thank you for that. I'm intrigued. I can't wait to look at it. Michelle, yes, woohoo, Michelle. <laughs> okay. All right, so Michelle, would you like to come on the live with me here or would you like me to do it through the comments? Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> Wait till you hear what I tell you. You might not like it. <laughs> so would you like to come on the live with me? 
or would do you want to do it on the comments? Comments. Oh, nobody wants to come on. What is it? <laughs> Everybody's shy. Okay. Um, yeah, no problem. I will uh, start pulling some cards out for you. I know Francesca. I bet you if I pulled out Francesca's name, she'd come on. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that's okay. Good morning, Marie, uh, Maureen. How are you? You're. I'm a bit of a wallflower. Yes, <laughs> it's all right. Maureen, if you share my live, I will put you into this draw that I'm. I'm drawing out randomly. Um, like we're doing Michelle's reading at the moment. Until I have a few drinks. <laughs> I think we're all like that, Michelle. <laughs> Very early in Seattle. What time is it there? Four fifteen a.m. Wow! What happened? Have you gone to bed, or you woke up, or you haven't gone to bed, or were you out partying? Okay, pulling out a few interesting things for you, Michelle. Oh, no, that's all right, Michelle. You're welcome. I hope it's something nice. <laughs> I'm not sure yet with what I'm pulling out. <laughs> you wake up early, Maureen. Oh, there's nothing worse when you wake up early and um, and you're so wide awake. You look at your alarm and you think, oh, i still got an hour or two or whatever to sleep. And um, so you go back to sleep. Your alarm goes off and you, you just can't wake up. <laughs> So I guess it depends where you're going or what you have to do as to if you can get up. Oh, you went to bed early. Gee, you must have gone to bed really early. I always have good intentions of going to bed early and I never do. Okay. Yes, I love the birds too. I used to have a, a nest above my window and it was beautiful just um, listening to the birds singing each morning. I felt sorry for them. They probably had to put up with my snoring during the night or, you know, <laughs> and they probably started singing just to cover up my snoring. Wow, this is really interesting, Michelle. Um Okay. All right, Michelle. <clears throat> I feel that you're you're going through something legal. 
um, or something that, that may lead to a legal issue. Yeah, um, I've pulled out this card here. It's all about divine order. Um, see that there's the balance of scales there. That to me indicates that there, it's, there's something legal happening it's through the courts, police, or something that's going to lead that way. Um, I feel that, um, you know, th this situation is going to be handled with fairness. So um, it, it, it's, you know, each each party would always think that their side was the fair side and that they were in the right, but it is going to be handled. And sometimes, you know, the people that don't deserve to win or things um, that go through it, it, they don't deserve it. But I can see here it is going to be dealt with fairness. Um, you know, I, I just, you, I feel I need to tell you just release, release um, your everything within yourself and just hand over this burden to your angels and um, the your guides that you have um, because they're handling it for you and the outcome will be um, dealt with in fairness. Um, I, I feel here, um, I, I feel here you'll see that there's um, like, see the woman mermaid with the shark? The shark is not a good person. Um, it, what this means is that, uh, like, swim away from um, this type of energy. So, you know, swim away from the shark. So uh, you'll find that um, the energy that you have around, I don't know whether it's this person that you're dealing with or this justice thing, uh, the courts thing, but there are energies around you that you just need to stay clear of. Um, you need to stay clear of. Uh, they're not good for you and, um, no, not good for you at all. But um, I do, I've got the Uncovering Treasure card and um, even though this is going on, there's something that's right in front of you um, that you're not seeing it. You're, there is something of value. So it's like an, like uncovering treasure. There is something that you don't realise how valuable or how good or useful it is for you or a pathway that is sort of like blurred. Um, you're blocked from seeing it. But um, just look closer at things that come to you. Yes, yes, Michelle, release it to the greater power because they're handling it for you. Um, but that's all I can really get for you, um, Michelle. Um, so, look, I hope that this helps you. I, I do feel that it is a good outcome for you. Um, I feel that you may not be seeing that it is, but you, you, you'll you see things more clearly. Hi, Stacey Ann. Yes, if you share the live, um, I will put you in the drawer. I'll just show you. I've been putting everyone's name in here. So I'll put you in the drawer and I'm just selecting people randomly. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Simone. So I hope that that helps you, uh, Michelle. Oh, no, you're most welcome. You're most welcome, darling. Oh, Simone, if I tell you what Paul is going through at the moment. Uh, yeah, no, there's no Uncle Paul at the moment. Um, thank you, Stacey Ann. Um, I'll, I'll just put your name in the drawer because I'm going to pull another one out shortly. Stacy and Jeanette. Okay. So what's happened, Simone, with Paul is that... Um, He's having plumbing issues 
and he's had to turn his water off. And um, before we were meant to come up in the live earlier and um, he couldn't. So he, he had been stuck on the phone trying to get a plumber for over two hours. Um, he had to shut all the water off because he was getting flooding coming through the ceiling. And so he had to shut the water off. So if he turns the water on, it's going to start up again. So hopefully he can find one. Ange gave me a phone number, which I've passed on to him, but I don't know whether he's seen it or not. Um, he is quite stressed. So he also wasn't, he wouldn't have been able to do readings. He's got his mind on other things. And do you know how much I love talking to you guys? So I thought I'll just come on for a little bit myself and um, and do some readings and everything. But I'm going to pull out someone's name shortly. <clears throat> Simone. Okay, so I'll pull out another name. <laughs> no, you're welcome, Maureen. Um... Okay. No, it's not funny, Simone, because he he was really stressed. I felt terrible and uh, there was nothing I could do to help him. <clears throat> yeah, I hope he does, Ange. Everything seems to happen to him, everything. All right. Here we go. Another person. Who's it going to be? Ooh. <clears throat> Okay, who have we got? <gasps> I don't know if she's still on because I, I haven't seen her comment. Regan, are you still on, Regan? Regan. I haven't, she's been quiet, so I have a feeling normally she's full of comments. But I, I haven't seen it. I have a feeling she's not on. So you know what happens, Simone? What's the word we say, Simone? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think she's on. Yes, Simone, that's right. I was waiting for you to say that. Next. Next. Okay. All right. Who are we going to pull out? We need you here, Simone. A Lily, Lily could pull out. I actually have my friend sitting next to me. So if I pull you out, I'll, I'll get him to say hello. <laughs> All right. Okay, who have we got next? <gasps> Abby Miller. Are you there, Abby Miller? I saw a comment earlier, but um, I haven't seen any comments. We'll give her a minute. Are you there, Abby? Calling Abby Miller. Abby. <laughs> Sorry, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the way I am, guys. Uh, is Abby still on? Abby. Are you still there, Abby? No, I don't think she is. You're there, I know. 
I know, but Abby's not here. So what do we say, Simone? <laughs> it's going to be one of those nights. Lily Miller here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll we'll just um, pull out another one, I guess. All right, who are we going to pull out? Yeah, next, next. That's why I draw them out because um, what I do is um, if I do a list and then I, it's like I've promised I've got to do one for every single person and I just physically can't do it. So it's just easier to pull them out and whoever comes in my name gets pulled out. <gasps> I, I saw this person on before. I don't know if they're still on. Ah, all right. Rita, are you still there, Rita? Rita, yoo-hoo. Rita, Rita, Rita. Are you there, Rita? Rita. Oh, don't tell me she jumped off. Did she jump ship? Where'd I put my tissue? Oh my gosh, she's there. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I'm excited that you're there. I think we had a couple of names that weren't there. Okay, now, Rita, the undying question. Hi, Tisha, how are you? Paul is having um, a problem with plumbing. He's trying, I know everybody's going to ask me that question. <laughs> Actually, I should pull it in the scrolling bar. Now, what's happened with Paul is he's got plumbing a plumbing issue where he's had to turn off the water. Otherwise, his ceiling is going to cave in because it's flooding. And um, he's trying to find a plumber at the moment. And he wasn't, he was, yeah, I've got a plug in draining, have you? Uh, he's not, um, he wasn't in a very good frame of mind. He still hadn't found a plumber. So I thought I'll just come on for a little bit. And because um, I love chatting with you guys. And, uh, and there's nothing I could do from here to help him anyway. But Rita, we're all dying to know, would you like to come on with me on the live or would you like the reading done in comments? Rita. <clears throat> What'd she do? Did she disappear? Where's Rita? Hi, Joss. Thank you, Tisha. I'll put you in. Oh, in comments. Okay. All right, I've put you in. Um, Joss, I'm putting everyone in for a draw. I'm about to do a reading now, but everyone that shares the live can um, uh, will go in the draw for a chance to get a, a free mini reading. Oh, there you are. Yep. Okay. So I'll put your name in the draw, Joss. Only if you come on the live. <laughs> Certain people I'm not going to take a note for, from. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if you're in your pyjamas. <laughs> All right, Rita, I'm going to start pulling out your cards. 
Yes, I, I can see. Thank you for that, Joss. I've put you in the draw already. All right. Um, my volume is actually up already high. Um, is anyone else having a problem hearing me? <clears throat> wow. Yeah, everyone can hear me. What, you can't hear me, Francesca? Or are you saying no, not to put up my volume because I'm loud enough? <laughs> I've been told even, like, I don't even need any volume boost because my voice is naturally loud. Do you know, even when I talk on the phone at work, um, I can hear other people just, <laughs> um, just shake their heads. Oh, well, at least if I ever had to do something, I wouldn't need a microphone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, my neighbours can hear you here loud and clear. <laughs> uh, yeah, and Stacey Ann can hear. Yeah, and Ange. Francesca says she's loud as well. Oh, my goodness. So you can imagine both of us together. Yeah. No, Joss, I don't know. You might need to um, <laughs> maybe put your headphones on or something. Hi, Cindy. How are you? I haven't seen Did you just come on? I didn't see you before. If you share my live, I will um, put you into the draw because uh, I'm pulling out of there randomly to do um, readings from. Um, yes, Francesca, I cackle a lot. So do you do that too? <laughs> Did you, Joss, just have a look at what Lee wrote. All right. Put me through your TV. You'll be able to hear me and your whole neighbourhood too. Yes. <laughs> Mine does that when I talk, even uh, others say. <laughs> Okay, Nella finished. How are you? No, no, there's no Paul tonight or today. Um, Paul is having plumbing issues and uh, he's had to turn off his water until something is fixed and he is frantically trying to locate a plumber. And apparently it's also uh, bank holiday there, so it's going to be harder. and. Um, yeah, he's a bit too stressed at the moment. And 
I really enjoy coming on here. So I, I just thought I'd come on for a little bit and um, just have a chat and do some readings. For me, I th if I think if I, I miss uh, one of you know one of the nights we're supposed to come on, I just feel like something's missing. So I thought I'll just come on for a little bit. All right. Okay, Rita. Oh, okay. I hope you're feeling okay, Paul. All right, Rita, what I've got for you. <clears throat> My light sabre. I don't know what you mean. What does that mean, Francesca? I don't know. More. I don't know more. Um, Rita, I've pulled out. Let me just get the other screen so I can see what I'm holding up. Now, I've pulled out the transformation card. See the angel there and the angel's got the butterflies. and The butterflies is a symbol of transformation. You know, when, when um, there, it starts off as a, a caterpillar and goes into the cocoon um, and it goes through the processing stages and, the, and then comes out as the butterfly in full bloom. I feel you're going through a cycle that, uh, similar to that. Oh, okay. Oh, you got your headphones on. I'll talk louder. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, so I feel that you, you are going through that type of transformation and it, it's like I feel that you are going through a type of awakening and you're seeing things as if you're, you're seeing them for the first time. Um, you are actually... Um, you I, I i if you meditate or pray I, I feel prayer and meditation is really the same thing um i think meditation you can really get into it deeper but um i feel that that's something you need to do and um you'll find that when you meditate and if you don't meditate but you pray um if you do it through your heart you it, it will actually you will put out with your heart it will actually go out into the universes into the universe sorry and you'll find that you'll actually receive your answers by doing that even through praying um if you are not um someone that meditates so i i, I can see that you there are things that are weighing on you and that you want answers for you're not sort of sure what to do where to turn and if you do it through that you need to open yourself up to be able to receive so um, you need to give out the intentions of what you are looking for enable for you to receive the answers or to manifest what you want uh, and i feel that this is what it is in your case now um I, I I can see that um, I'm not sure whether you're having a, a problem with um, people at the moment, um, and this could be a part of this. Um, I've got the card here, like standing in the truth, and you'll see like someone um, is there on their own and there's like, two people together. This is even like... Um, when you do something of curing someone, say that's got an evil eye, and you can usually see whether someone has got um, that burden from uh, a group of people talking together. And I feel that this is what's happening to you. 
And I need you to know as long as you meditate and you pray, um, you will, um, these people will see the truth. The truth will actually come out. The truth will actually be known. Um, now, your, um, if you follow um, what we call, we call it like the gut instinct, your intuition, if you follow that, and I think you would, if you would like me to send you a link, because I've got, I've seen some really good ones on YouTube and I've kept the links to them. It, I can, um, if you message the page, I can send you the links because I feel that you would really benefit from this. Um, and you'll, you'll find that by um, meditation and putting your intentions out, you're actually going to be provided for materially. So um, money-wise, materials, things that you need. So um, you'll find that, you know, what you're putting your intentions out to to manifest, it, you can make it a reality. Um, but there's some really good, if you're not, because if you're not someone that meditates, I know sometimes it is hard to get into, you can't do a long stretch. And so there's some of these links I've got are even short ones because it, it's good to practice like that if you're just a beginner. And they're guided, which is really good. I myself, I prefer the guided ones, but sometimes it is nice to to listen to just the um, spiritual music and like doing. Um, I call it free free roaming. <laughs> but uh, that's all I really get for you, uh, reader. So I, I'd love to know that if that um, resonates. I hope that it helps you. <clears throat> But I'm, I'm just going to wait and see what Rita says on her feedback. And then I think uh, I'm a bit tired of talking by myself. So I'm going to invite a few of you to come on with me. Um, so we'll wait and see um, what Rita says. She might not be on anymore. Yeah, it's okay. Since I got more sp into spirituality, things like this have gotten easier in the sense you can do. Yeah, I've noticed that with you, Paul. Um, I actually get a really big sense. You're actually very stronger, much stronger than what you were. And I, I feel that energy from you. So, and it is true, the, the more you, the more spiritual you become, the easier it is for you to handle challenges that come to you through life. Um, and yeah, um, <laughs> yes, oh, good. I'm glad that that helped you, Rita. All right. Um, all right. What I'm going to do, because <clears throat> um, my throat's going from talking. So, and I haven't got Paul here to pick on. I'm going to actually, you don't need a login for this, right? All you have to do is click on this link. And I'm about to put it in the comments. But before I do that, you're most welcome, Rita. I hope that that helped you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I can have another five people on here with me. So I'm about to. Yeah, he hasn't responded to my message, Ange, so I don't know. He, he he had someone in mind, but we'll see what happens. So I'm about to post a link on the comments, and if you click on that link, you will come through to my live, right? So it'll be the first five people that come on. Now, I just want to let you know I'm not going to do any readings because I can't do readings for five people at once. <laughs> But I'm about to post it and um, and we'll just have a chat for five minutes or something. So there we go. I've just posted the link. Um, for anyone, you don't need to have StreamYard. You just click on the link and um, I can um, let you in. So it doesn't matter what you look like. I know some people feel like, oh, I haven't done my hair or whatever. Um, even Angie, if you click on that link, you'll be able to come on. 
so I can meet you. And Francesca can come on and read her if you want. Everyone that's on. So all well, five people anyway. <laughs> so and Paul. It'd be great if Paul came on. So we'll see if we get anyone. No one yet. There's no takers. No, I don't think even Pandora couldn't do five readings in a go, in one go. <laughs> I've done a few already tonight, but it'll be good, whoever comes on. Um, but does it look like no one's coming on yet? Maybe they're brushing their hair and they're getting ready to go on camera. How about you, Francesca? So we've got five people that can come on. What about you, Paul? So I get to hear your accent. I get to hear other accents. I'm trimming my garden and headphones are in so I can listen to you. Okay. So, all right. No takers? Uh, Ange, did you, Tisha, click on the link? Yeah. <laughs> What about you, Lee? So, Ange, click on that link that I just put up. Yeah, I'm going to put it on again. If you click on it, it'll it'll bring you here. <clears throat> but you have to have your camera on. She's trimming. What are you trimming, Francesca? Butch, your bushes. <laughs> So what what are you trimming? Are you cutting up your lawn or you oh someone's oh Paul, you gotta turn your camera on, Paul. Lee, how come you're in bed so early, Lee? It won't let me connect you, Paul, because it says your devices aren't connected. Do you have your camera in that on? Hey, Paul, if you send me your um, email address and I'll send it to you on email, that might be easier for you to come on because I know sometimes it's easier to come on um, through email. Just send it to this page and um, I'll send you the invite. Oh right, Migrastic. Oh, I'm I'm looking at what you've just sent me, Lee. I can see now. I was imagining an actual piece of wood. Yeah, you, um, you guys aren't coming on. Um, I can see Paul's trying to come on and Joss, but it says device is not connected. Um, I think maybe if you just send me your email address in Messenger on this page and I'll, and I'll send you the invite. You've been smashed all day. Oh, no. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's working. So if you can... Um, if you s just send me a message on messenger and i will um with your with your email address and i'll send you the link on there for some reason it's not working on here yeah it, it says your devices aren't con oh hang on paul Did you get it sorted? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, no. But I, was, I thought, oh, I'll go and see what's going on. And Oh, uh, my God. I've been talking to myself this whole time. That's just normal. Paul Holmes um, is trying to come on. 
But, hey, Paul Holmes, if you send an email to this, uh, sorry, send your email address mm. and I'll send you the link through email because it looks like it's not working from there. Hey, Francesca said, hey. Hello, I'm stuffing my face. I needed some energy. No, that's all right. Hmm. But Everyone's saying hello. Hello, everyone. Yeah, no. If you send me your e can you guys hear me? Send me your email address and I'll send you the invite. Send it to me on um, this mess messenger on this page. I went straight through the link. So, oh, so Paul got on through the link. Mm. I went straight so through the link. So for some reason it's not working for others. Mm, that's strange. I pressed on the link. It says... Uh, do your mic and thing press on that to say yes and yeah. then it says allow or, or block yeah uh, press on allow and then it came yeah. through to a little screen and then you enter yeah so that's oh see uh tisha's trying about, to come on took me about less than 30 seconds what did you do last time tisha because it's not working for you this time um I really wanted Paul Holmes to come on. Le Leslie lo likes our accents. So, Leslie, Paul is in the UK and um, I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Where are you from, Leslie? Uh, how's everyone? I hope you're well. Um, <clears throat> I've only just caught the, caught the show, so because um, of things that have been going on. Um, yeah, not good. Yeah, they, they know about your plumbing. I told yeah. them you were looking for a plumber. No, was oh, that in you, you, Ohio. Now, was that in a rude way or was that a good way? No, it's in a good way. I told them <laughs> that you had to shut your water off. <laughs> I just and rude uh, you, were trying, <laughs> you were trying to find a plumber and, you know, um, it's been very stressful for you. Mm. Paul Holmes, I can see that you're trying to connect, but if for some reason it won't work. Um, if you send me your email address, I'll send you the link through there. It might work through there. But Paul, this Paul actually came through the link, so it worked for him. I don't know why it's not working for anyone else. Yeah, all I did was press on the link and uh, I just went straight in. Basically. All right, I, I got it. I got a few email people sending me their email addresses. Add, add me and Josie. <laughs> yeah, so I'm about to send you guys the link through email. Um, where are we? Because I'm actually seeing it up on the private chat that Paul Holmes is talking, and uh, yeah, weird. Yeah, I could see that he was trying to come on, but it kept saying, okay, Joyce, uh, I've set yours. Um, now, who was next? Uh, next. And Tisha. How's, how's everyone been anyway? I hope she's been uh, quiet. Who? You. <laughs> Me, quiet. Paul, send me your email address. It's not working the way you're trying to do it. Mm. No, okay, I mean, uh, Tisha, I'm sending yours out now. Now, what I mean is, have you been, uh, you know, um, just quiet in your voice? Have you been really low in your voice? No. Um, Lee was going to put me on her surround sound speakers and she said, all her neighbours could hear me. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, I'm eating. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah, I've sent you an invite through the email. I'm waiting for Paul Holmes to send me his email address so I could do that for him too. Send it on Messenger, Paul. It's in the private chat as well. Oh, did he put it in the private chat? Yeah, because I can see it. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, Paul. I can see it. Hang on, I'm going to copy it. Sorry, Paul, I'm an ing nong. Um, all right, invite. I'm not going to say anything. Email. 
All right, Paul Holmes, I've sent you an email. Joss, for some reason, um, you're coming through with devices not connected. Mm. Yes, that would be why it's coming up, devices not connected, Paul, because your camera and mic have to be on. You know what it is? You need to shut down your Facebook because shut down your Facebook before you do it. Yeah, and Joss, I can see you're trying to come on, but it says your mic and your camera need to be on. To yeah, yeah, you have to allow it. You have to allow yeah. your camera and mic. Yeah, yeah. So when you're coming on, all three of you, I can see you're trying to come on. Paul, yes, here he goes. Paul. Well, hello, we're both Paul. Paul, oh, Paul, what happened? You were coming on. Paul, you were coming on. You actually, yes, here it goes. Can the you put your camera on? Oh, no, it's on then. <laughs> oh, Yo. Oh, all right, Tanisha. What's up? What's up? Hey. <laughs> Paul, can you hear us? Yeah, I can yes, hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Ah, I can hear you. Can you turn your camera on? <laughs> Yeah, when I turn the camera on, then it shuts off. So Okay, that's all right. We'll just talk to you verbally. That's okay. We've got to hear your accent. <laughs> How many people <laughs> can you hear him, Paul? Yes, oh, I can boy. hear you. <laughs> no, no, I was talking to the other Paul. <laughs> Very confusing. Oh, he's oh. gone off again. Why did it go off? Oh, I was back again. So how are you, Tanisha? Yeah, good. How are you? Uh, look, still a little bit of stressed. What happened? Um, I've got water pouring out the toilet, <laughs> basically. Oh, no, that's terrible. It is because uh, it's landing in my kitchen. Bloody hell. So, yeah, so i am uh, been running around trying to find people, but, but because... Uh, it's bank holiday. It's very difficult to get people. Hello. Yay, she made it. Hello. Tracy. We were just on the phone and I was like, get off the phone. We need to go live. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> so, Paul, Paul Holmes. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me, Paul Holmes? <gasps> oh, my God. He's on camera. What's that? Is that your legs? Yes. <laughs> what is that? It's his legs. Is it really his you. legs? Have you got blue legs? Jeans. Oh my god! I'm oh, sorry. I thought you had blue legs, Paul. Blue legs. Look... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it does look... They do. Well, now it's clear. He's wearing jeans and he's got socks on. It does look like blue, though. Yeah, before I thought he had blue legs. Okay. Oh, there he is. He is. <laughs> oh, my God. We finally get to meet you. Like again, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm eating. Oh, there's a, I just said bird fly by. <laughs> Did you just see that bird fly past? Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. It's me. It's Don't me. Look. Look. Hello. Have you got your long on, Tanisha? <laughs> What's yours, Paul? What's oh, no. Called? Elmo's back. Ah, there you go. You can actually hey, see Paul, you now. Hey, what, Paul, what's yours called? I've not seen one like that before. Bob. <gasps> oh, doggy. Oh, my God. Look at his doggy. <laughs> oh, he's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name? Did he just lick your forehead then? Oh, yeah, he, he did. He wants to give you a kiss. Oh, look at him. Is it she or he? She all right? Angel. All right. Oh. Hey, oh. Paul, is, is your dog a he or a she? A she. 
I a thought she, so. What's her name? Bella. Sky. Sky. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Paul, where do you live? Hmm? I'm not talking to you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear her. Where, where, where do you come from? In Netherlands. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, yeah. Nice. Mm. Hello. What's it like there? It's sunny? Is it, is it sunny? It must be the internet. Yeah. Is it sunny there, Paul? Uh, not really at the moment. No. Wow. Sunny. It's a bit uh, cloudy. Oh, you can see. oh, okay. It's overcast. Oh. Oh, no, but there's some blue sky. Yeah. We're, we're quite lucky. We're getting some hot temperatures. It's bloody freezing here. I'm so cold. I got the aircon on and the gas heater. I'm so cold. So, what's the temperature there, Tanisha? Probably like eight degrees. I'm freezing. Oh, that's beautiful. That's just normal. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> eight degrees. Mm -hmm. What are we here? We are. Let me check. Hang on. Yeah, we're, we're eight. We're eight degrees. Twelve degrees. No, see, Melbourne, eight degrees. Um, I'm cold. It's freezing. In lockdown again, huh? Yeah, yeah. Sucks. How long for? Seven days. Um, at the moment until the end of Thursday, but um, they keep reviewing it. They keep um, so we'll just have to wait and see. What it's nineteen degrees, yeah. 19 degrees. So um, I, I can't believe we got to meet Paul Holmes. So what, what, have you, what time is it there, Paul Holmes? I, I keep saying your surname so they know I'm not talking to the other Paul. We should call him Paul. Paul. It's Paul. about 2 in the afternoon. It's about 2.22 two two for you. Paul, what are you eating? 2.22, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I, I, was, I was eating a pasty. Oh, so they call them pasty, but they're really pasties, aren't they? They're pasties. How do you guys pronounce it? Pasties. You're kidding me. Oh, I'm not See? talking to you. <laughs> it's pasty. It's pasty. I like your place, Paul Holmes. It looks nice. Oh, Sky. What kind of dog? Labrador. What is it? Labrador? Mm hmm She's knocking your head, Paul, and she's saying, don't forget about me. Oh, Angie's coming on. Here we go. No. no. Angie, you're coming on. Ah! Hi, Angie. <laughs> Hello, Ange. Boy, did I did I just scare Sky? Did I? Long time no see. Yeah, definitely. Oh look, Sky is is waving. Hey, does Sky shake you in? <laughs> uh, but how are you anyway? I'm sorry I wasn't on here earlier. Uh, problem. Have you got your have you got your TV on? Um, and something? Sounds like someone's got a tally on. Angie, you you oh. Hello, Missy. Hi. Oh, no, I think what she's getting is the the, um, the sound from Facebook. Yeah. Have you got the sound from Facebook? Can you say? No. Me. Yeah. 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 Turn the sound off on Facebook. Hey guys, hello. You stop. Hang on, I'm going to work it out. I'm going to mute until it turns off. All right, it's Joss. Mm -hmm. No, it's Tanisha. What is it? All right, I'm, have you turned it off, Tanisha? Because it's interfering. All right. Okay, got it. Oh my God, Ange, you're not saying, why are you speechless? Because she's got no... got a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I've got a headache. Uh, where, uh, where is that coming from? I think somebody's got their phone on from the Facebook. The Facebook sound? Yeah. If you turn the sound off from the Facebook, you should yeah, someone, someone's got to do it. You need to turn the Facebook speaker off. Who is it? Still going. And um, I think it might be Ange because when I turned Ange off, it stopped. Hang on, yeah. I'm putting Joss back on. Tanisha. Yeah, I think it's Ange. Ange, I'm going to turn you back on, but you need to have nothing else going. In the background. Yeah. All right. Face Face turn, turn off your Facebook sound. No, I, it's coming from Ange. So, Ange, I I've had to mute you for now. If you make sure you don't have Facebook or other things open. Running in the background. Can you hear me, Ange? Nod your head. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. All right. It's coming. The noise, the feedback is coming from you, Ange. So, can you make, just turn your... May you get in a closer app? Close your app and everything of your Facebook. Hang on, I'll see. I'll turn it back on. Oh, she's, oh, gone. she's gone. She's gone. <laughs> no, it was coming from her. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I thought my ears were going to go. My eardrum was going to um, go. <laughs> What's that statue of, Paul Holmes? Behind you, there's like a statue. Wait a second. It's <laughs> you. Oh. oh, wow, I love that. Oh, Paul, oh, my God. I, I've got similar ones, and I, I love, I collect them. Oh, I'm with a child. Yeah, really? Yeah, I've got, I've got a, a display here, and I have some of that like that, and okay. they're really long. They're like they're slim and they're long. Yeah. There's one of a man and a woman as well, <laughs> but they're really nice. And there, there's one holding a child. They're really nice ones. <coughs> yes, look, she's got her birds there. I forgot your bird's name. Messy. Messy. Is that the, okay. is that the one that was flying around a second ago? That's no, Bella. 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 Mm. Joyce, where's Matt? Snoring. He's asleep. <laughs> he's asleep. Look. No, he's waiting for me to watch a Netflix uh, show with him. No, he fell asleep before, so that's his bad luck. I was I was talking to Tanisha for about an <laughs> hour or <also. laughs> so. So what are you going to watch? Um, there's a – on Netflix, there's a show called Start – Stop. Start Up. <laughs> oh, Start Up. Yeah, it's about this cryptocurrency and all that stuff. Like they oh, created blimey. it's very interesting. Okay, okay. We're on to the last season. So last season, probably five more episodes left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all right, you were yawning. We near I nearly went towards the screen then because you were yawning that much. Who? It was yawning. Yeah, no, when she was yawning, she I started going forward because she was yawning in. And then she, it all go. Oh, oh, what about Paul Holmes? Oh, oh, no, oh, no. He's Beck, gone. Can, I, can you please get a card? I'm not doing any readings um, on here at the moment. Sorry, Joss. Uh, okay. I'm not in a good frame of mind, so. But, yeah, uh, Paul's not. I just thought just we'll just get a few on, just have a quick chat. <laughs> I I'd just say hello, just to say I'm still alive. Yeah. <laughs> still about. Messy. At least I'm still awake. I usually fall asleep on Josie. Yeah, you do. Oh, I, I, I just noticed that you've got your dressing gown on. Um, I'll be back I thought, oh, you must be going to bed soon. Yeah, soon. I've had a big week. So what, what time is it for you there? Um, 10.30. 10.30. All right, okay. Okay, that's not, you know, it's 1.30 in the afternoon here. Oh, wow. 
Mm. And it's it's really warm, like I said, about 19 degrees. Um, it's just something that we're, we're, I think we're only getting it for the weekend and then it's going to start raining again. Yeah, it's shocking weather. I was meant to go see Nen tonight at the hospital and go to Woolworths and do a bit of a grocery What's shop, but you? it's too cold. Yeah, What's how is she anyway, you know? Yeah, she's good. I haven't seen her since I was last on live because I've been at work, but right. no, she's improving. She's getting there. Good, good. It was she's nice to got, meet her. She's still got to go to rehab, so she'll probably be in hospital for another couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it was nice to meet her. No, she loved it. It was good. She was making yeah. me laugh so much when you called her Maltese. <laughs> you know what? No, that wasn't me. That was her. Someone, someone, I don't know if it was your mum, someone said they were Maltese. Was it no, your mum? My dad, so my mum and her two sisters married Maltese. So all of us grandkids are all got half Maltese in us. Okay, so it's your dad that's Maltese. Yeah, my dad, my um, auntie's husband's a Maltese. Okay, is that your and auntie Mel? Yeah, yeah, my mum's sister. Paul, oh, she's married. <laughs> yes, she, did. she said well, it. She hey, said it on the post the other day. You oh, know, did, what did you didn't it? hear it? Hang on a minute, she everybody. Said, my husband, my husband. She said my husband is Maltese or something. Oh, I didn't hear it. Right. Didn't you hear, Paul, the other day what Annie Mel said? Annie Mel's up to something. You're going to see the bills coming. <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, I, I couldn't catch it because it was in and out. What do you mean, yeah. Tanita? Yeah, what do you mean? If you if you go back and watch the live from the... Um, <laughs> oh. Angie's yeah. back. <laughs> 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 Hello. I, I've, mu I've muted her. Hang on, I'll try and see. Hang on, if it works. Yeah, so it works. Maybe it's her TV. Oh, yeah. TV. Yeah. Have you got your TV on, Ange? Maybe. Look, she looked. At, she looked at her TV. Have, there, have, you see? have you got Facebook running in the background of your phone? Not yes or no. Is that a yes? Yeah, I can hear what yes. you're saying. Oh, no. Yes? Yeah. Oh, no. I'll turn, turn your Facebook off. Don't turn your Facebook off. It's, it's different. It's a different. Have you got Facebook on in the background of your device? Yes or no? Uh, it's fine language. Yeah, what we were talking about, Tanisha. What, what was Mel saying? Your auntie Mel? I don't know. Remember she was saying that on the reading that you gave her, mm -hmm. saying that um something that there's something big that's coming. And Auntie Mel said to you the other night that, oh, don't worry, Paul, something big's coming for me and it's coming to England. Remember? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know what sure she meant. Of, sure of. I don't know what she meant by that either. And I tried going back looking for the live and I can't find it. I think it's two, is it two ago? And then it's about halfway through. Mm. Mm. Oh, no. yeah. I can't believe we've got our inch on. Hang on, I'm going to try and unmute her and see if it works now. No. <laughs> You're the telly. You're, are you watching the telly, Ange? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it just sounds like there's about 50 people in your house. It's only me and the cat. Look, the cat. Oh, it's the cat. Ah. Yeah, the cat makes that sound. I, I, I've had to mute it because the sound. Yeah, because um... the, cat, the cat senses spirits. Yeah, it will do. Yeah. It will do. Uh, it's sensing spirits. I had a reading once in, in Queensland and I was just sitting there. Just I was just sitting there talking to the lady and all of a sudden the cat jumped from behind me onto the table. Mm. Oh, you know, your, your auntie Mel did say that uh, uh, the bit I did hear 
was to look out in London or something. Yeah, I don't know. Annie Mills crazy. Because she was saying about Jason, <laughs> Jason, is it Jason Statham or whatever his name is? Uh, yeah, was, what does she mean by that? I have oh, no is idea. That guy from Fast and the Furious? Uh, possibly. Jake Jason Stat is the kick, um, is the karate man. The other night when she was talking, she's a, she's a groover. She's a groover. She's a party animal. A groover. Yeah. Now it's strange great. that uh, she. She's uh, cray cray. She, she's so grey. She's cray cray crazy. Oh, she's right. cray cray like crazy. Oh, yeah. You said grey. Oh, no, oh, oh look! Look, look, look at look at her cat. Isn't it cat gorgeous? Oh, oh, buddy. So, what would you want to say? Do you want to say this? Hang on, wait. Daisy. What's it, my man? Again? I've turned it. I had to put on thing again because it's quick. Billy, Billy. He's just sleeping away. Oh, no. Your, your, your doggy. How is he, by the way? Yeah, he's good. Oh, it's, it's, it's echoing. That's what, it's just echoing. Do you think it's just echo? Yeah. Maybe we need to turn our volumes down on our phone. I'm glad I ain't got no volume on my computer. Because I'm, I'm down to 30 as it is. It's better now. Hey, how about my top for, um, fan went? Say that again. I was a top fan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I... <laughs> how long is your hair, Ma um, Ange? I, I saw a really long pony. <laughs> Take your hair out, Josie. Ange, shake your hair for me. Take your hair out. 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 Take your Josie, take your hair out. Show them the nightmare you gave me the day I did your hair. Oh my oh, god! Is her, really, is her hair really long? Yeah, to my butt. Oh wow. really? Wow! But and I, I did a keratin smoothing treatment on her hair. No, oh my goodness! I have the same problem. <coughs> <laughs> the same problem as Paul. <laughs> Josie, take look, it out. Look at how long Angie's hair is. That's really long. Is your hair purple? That Don't looks nice. <laughs> yeah, it's feedback. Spiritual. <laughs> okay. But I reckon it's feedback from Facebook. Yeah, it's coming from Ange. So for some reason, there's some sort of feedback. Yeah. Ange, disconnect and reconnect. Oh, it's all right. We're going to go off now anyway, so it's all right. But it was nice to see you, like, see Ange, because I've not seen Ange live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. So, Paul, what was wrong with you today? I, it hasn't finished yet. I've, I've got water leaks. In your, Where? In your house? Mm. Oh, no. I've had to turn my water off, so I've oh, got no water. Oh, there, there, there is a bit. Have you diagnosed it? I know what it is. It's the toilet. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You need me. There's Ange. Thank you. Oh, no, it, it's uh, it just started leaving. Uh, that one's really bad. Oh. It's yeah. coming Coming from Ange, we're not like thinking like, but we're kind of like, ah. <laughs> hey, Silvana. Yeah. I watched the beginning of my live video the other day with Ned, and you're like, you still look good as a statue. <laughs> <Do> you... 
Uh, <laughs> did you see that? She she was, was so was funny. Like, I was frozen, and you're like, "Are we playing statues? Are you moving?" And then you guys are like, "Hello!" I was dying. You know, I was laughing so hard. I like no, it. It's the. As when I was like literally frozen. He, she, you don't have good. Wi you didn't have. Hey? You had to take your wifi back. Yeah, you to take your wifi oh. back. <laughs> it wasn't free. She didn't get a free wifi in the bag. Only my mom. Oh. <laughs> that was the funniest thing. What about the Julie Gillard? What was the Julie Gillard? Look what your mum wrote. <laughs> She has yes, a cat she has... pretending to be Jason and she believes him. What? Yeah, she has a catfish pretending to be Jason and she believes him. What? Who's that? No, no idea on that one. <coughs> she must be drinking something high tonight because I don't know. <laughs> <how they're laughs> a point, a point of vodka or something. How did how, how Work. Do people on Facebook see us live. Shania has the baby in two weeks. Yeah. Oh my God, that's going to come really quick. Yeah, people on Facebook can see us. There's not many. There's only four people on anyway. Um, mm. at the moment. Yeah. Just, Mom, what did you mean by that comment? Uh, yeah, she said, "Strap man." What the hell's that? <laughs> I it's think that's um, Jason it's Stratton. Is, isn't that the Van Trillipan? No, that's Stratman. You know, the, the, the one that Mel's after. Um, oh, is that who she, she means? Yeah. That, it's what? the start of his first name, uh, his surname. Stratton. Poor Annie Mel. I feel sorry for her. Yeah. Oh, I love like her. Is she talking about the guy from Fast and Furious? Um, Jason I, Stratman. Statham. State Statham, yeah. He's an English bloke. Hey, yeah, Paul. He's the Fast and the Furious. She Hello. would drive you bonkers. If you spent one hour with Arnie Mel, you'd be going, cuckoo, astros. I'd just turn <laughs> off. No, that's the, um, I, I've got my fingers in my ears. <laughs> Remember when she was uh, freaking out, when she was saying about, um, oh, you need to take to home. Like she's... Like it's no good. She's thick. Oh, okay, he's talking to him. I didn't catch one bit of that. Talking to she him. She thinks she's talking to him. What? Oh. Okay. I think I know what mum means. So, Annie Mel, right, for example. Okay. So, yeah. for example, you know Shannon Noll? Yeah. Okay. So, you know how their people make like fan pages? Oh, yes. <laughs> Annie Mel thought that she was talking to Shannon Noel. And I'm like, no, it's not Shannon. She's like, yes, it is. And then she like full thought like Shannon Noel wanted to date her. And I'm like, no, Annie Mel, it's like a full person that's like a fan. Oh. And she's like, no, but I reckon that's what she means. I reckon she thinks that she's talking to that person on the internet and reckons that it's him. <laughs> she's gullible. Android kept the phone. Yeah, the cat rubbed against the phone. I don't know. It sounded like there was a speaker because when we go on Facebook, we have the speakers turned off. Um, so that's why we don't get the feedback so from us. Here is, is what's on here, um, which is quite good, you know. But uh, do you know, I'm grateful I actually got on. Um, I know it was a nice surprise. Yeah. I know we're all asking for you, Paul. No, Everybody I appreciate that. Everybody asked we were. That I was missed. It's yes. not about Paul. It's not Silvana. What's that? I said it's not Silvana without Paul and it's not Paul without Silvana. Yeah, no, I know. That's I true. know. That's Same true. Spirit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, One of these days. How do you know each other? Um, where, where did I find you? In the groceries? In the grocery shop. What no. aisle was it again? I forgot. Uh, she, was getting, she, was getting a free, she was a free present, so I thought, sorry, I'll keep with her. No, serious. Go on, it's your turn to tell the story. No, you say it better than me. No, it's your turn. Come on. <laughs> no, we were actually introduced by people that knew both of us. 
and um, they actually, they didn't, uh, we were sort of, I think Paul wanted to speak to me and they wouldn't let him. And then after they gave up and they let him speak to me and um, and we sort of um, couldn't stop talking. So then they tried to break us up, didn't they, Paul? <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Uh, you guys an item? Sorry? Are you guys dating? <laughs> it's a long way. It's a long way. It's a long distance relationship people can have. It's because of COVID. I thought you might be separated. Husband's well, you're going to send us presents if we say yes. <laughs> you... what? what? I'm confused. Sorry, I'm easily confused. Yeah. <laughs> look, look at look at her face. Look at Sylvana's face. Yeah. I'm dating. And, and now, now you work it out. <laughs> as close as you could probably get to it, I suppose. Are you? We're, we're... We're on opposite ends of the world, so I guess and when COVID opens up, you never know. That's lovely. Mm. Oh, Steve, I wasn't wrong. No, you no. weren't wrong. We might, we might be able to. I might be able to come down there one day. Yep. And talk to you all. See, I wasn't stupid. My, see, my, my husband said you're stupid. Then they're not even in the same country. I go, yeah, but COVID is is affected a lot of a lot of people. Um, Paul Holmes has got it correct. Living apart together. Yeah, see? <laughs> I'm spiritual. I pick up these things. See, I did I was getting a vibe. No, no, Paul. I'm not gonna put that comment on there. <laughs> what is that comment? I want to read that. Ah, uh, all right. So who was trying to pull you guys apart? The when people that introduced life, us. Why? Why? They didn't, because they didn't think <laughs> we were going to hit it off. And how do they know? Because used... they they could they used to be friends with us individually, and they couldn't talk to him, and they couldn't talk to him because we were always too busy talking to each other. Uh, like we'd be talking for six hours straight. Well, that happens. So to... even now, I like I'll get ready in the morning. I, I'm getting dressed or whatever, and I'm talking to him. It's like he's here. Oh, kinky, getting dressed. No, 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 no camera. <laughs> not, not in that sense. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have a big video there. Hey, hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, they said the same thing about me and my husband. One of his friends said, no, you're not going to make it, blah, blah, blah. You shouldn't be yeah. together. You're not compatible. You're from different worlds, blah, blah, blah. And, like, how many years later? 20 something is. Yeah, well, we, we speak a few times, a couple of times a day, and we've been doing it for mm. over a year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, but it's good. I'm, and um, yeah, she's a nice lady. Sorry, are you going to move to Australia, Paul? <laughs> Sorry? Are you going to move to Australia? If someone lets me, but I've got my own house here as well, you see. So we've got to try and work that one out in, in that Compromise. sense. So so we've got well, two houses. We've got okay, one here I'll, and one there. Okay, okay fine. Out. Half the Stum year at Sylvanas. Summer. Summer, in Silva summer here, summer in your place. Port sorted. Summer, yeah. summer. Yeah. But, but the, only, the only problem is we're only, I'm only allowed in the country for three months at a time. But not if you're in a relationship. I, we don't know how that works. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure. We have to you wait gotta, till the you, borders are open. You got to prove that you're in a <gasps> relationship. I'll help you. Ooh. Did you see what Paul <gasps> Holmes wrote? <laughs> how much does she pay you to say she's a nice lady? <laughs> oh, uh, quite a few hundred dollars, actually. <laughs> Oh, we can't send the broomstick now. No, no. You've got to, you've got to tell Auntie Mel. It's all over. It's all over, Red Rover. Oh, my God. Tanisha, Auntie Mel's going to be cut now. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. She was oh, coming no. to the Say that again, sorry. She's look alike. Jason, Auntie whatever his name so is. so upset. Oh, can you see it? Wow. Can you see me upset? <laughs> Sylvana's face isn't very impressed. Go, excuse me, next. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a <laughs> No, um, but the thing is, it's nice that uh, 
you know, it, it just happened. It just happened. So it's yeah, one of those things. That's that's how life is, isn't it? Yeah. That's beautiful, yeah. though. Mm -hmm. Such a nice story. We, we were meant we were meant to meet each other, and we meant to we were meant to know each other because we knew each it's other got before. The same interests. It's good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It makes it so much better. But we so knew each other that, in a previous Italian life. Background? Yes. Say that again, sorry. I've got, I've got an Italian. I well, my parents are Italian anyway. Oh, Paul, you have That's the best them. food in the history of of food. I know, but I keep giving her my recipes. And she loves I've mine. been trying his recipes too because he cooks as well. Oh, so I've been cooking some of his Yorkshire Sorry? puddings and stuff. <laughs> no, York, he was Yorkie puds, roasties. Yeah. Shreds. Yeah. You guys are all meat pies and, and stuff. Guess what I'm making tomorrow, girls? Bangers and mash. What? Gnocchi. Nice. Oh, oh. yes. You're I'm making actually what? I'm making I'm making gnocchi tomorrow. I'm making them myself. What the yeah. hell is gnocchi? Gnocchi, <laughs> gnocchi I is going to be the, made, the but I didn't know what it was. Made potato. <laughs> Come on, guys. Sorry, Paul. I'm with you. I didn't know what it was either. <laughs> do, you, do, do you roll them with the fork? Like, do you, yes. Do you, do you roll them with, like, in a, in a fat I, I roll them with my hand, and when I cut them, I do it with a fork so they kind of like Hang on. a curl. Yes. No. Pardon? Tanisha, you, gnocchi, like they're made of, it's pasta made out of potato. It's like potato dumplings. But the thing yes. is, Italians normally boil the potatoes, but I don't boil them. I steam them. So oh. when I add the flour, it doesn't take as much flour. So they're actually more lighter and fluffier. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. See, she's got all the, she's got all the. That's all right. Joyce needs to take you to her famous bloody, um, Soup place that we love, eh? Duos. I love um, soup. No, you know what we go to. There's a place called um, Hot Pot City. You know how they do the steamboat? Have you ever had Chinese steamboat? No. So I had such is, a sook. Like Tanisha was going, I'm not eating this shit. So what they do is they give you a, a like whatever soup you want. They have yum, 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 chicken soup, whatever soup you want, right? And they have your own little cooking stove at the restaurant. Yeah. And it's got like a buffet of raw food. That's gross. And you get your raw meat, raw whatever, whatever, and you come back to your table and you cook it in your in your own soup. No. Oh. Hot, hot pot. Okay. Hot, 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 hot. Don't, I just oh, want to get a Don't do it. It's the, no, it's the best. It, you can have see, like prawns, vegetables. It's the it's so healthy and it's the best. Don't mm. don't ruin your flavors. Don't do it. <laughs> Think about food. No, I, I normally get a, a tin of chicken soup and then just add vegetables and stuff to it. No, no, yeah. this is like Chinese and, and then, uh, No, last night I put some. I'm uh, sorry, but I don't go to a restaurant to go and cook myself. Broaden your horizon, love. It's like it's it's called different culinary. You know what? Like I'm actually a real ball breaker. They must hate taking me out for dinner. She she's real <laughs> Aussie when it comes to food. It's Aussie. Like I eat like Excuse we me. Went, we really? went. Really? <laughs> that called you that? We went to really? that place, barbecue, 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 Korean barbecue, and they had intestines. <laughs> I was vomiting. <laughs> that would make me vomit too. And you, and you cook the intestines on the barbecue. Listen that was to this, the best right? Rice. She took me for dinner to this place, right? This all you can eat Korean barbecue. And the plates, they just they chuck them everywhere. They just put them down and they're so quick, right? And I picked up this plate and it still had food on the back of the plate. And I was like to the waitress, excuse me, you need a, I need a new plate, like it's dirty. The waitress goes, just wipe it on your clothes. You'll be right. I was like, you're kidding me. Oh, oh. She didn't no, say that. that. <laughs> I, was having, I was having a panic attack. No, it was really, the barbecue, Korean barbecue is beautiful too. You know what? The uh, meat was good, but there's too much to choose from. Yeah. I um, don't eat meat. Are you veggie? In that respect. Oh, oh my God. How are you going to do, do it in an Italian family? All we do is eat meat. Well. I'm sure. Are you Italian, boss? To... I'm Italian I'm sure. background, yeah. <laughs> Josie, I'm, I'm, Josie's my, or Giuseppina. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be shops. What's your name, Jose? Giuseppina. Joseph, Giuseppina, yeah. 
Didn't you know that? You've got to use the Italian accent. No. <laughs> We've known her all these years. We didn't know that. My husband's a pommy. <laughs> See, oh. it works. Look. Italian it works. Pommy. See? Look, Italian pommy. Yeah. Joe, introduce yes? Matt to the crew. No. No, Matt. Matt's not into these things. Has he got an accent as well? No. My in law, my mother in law does. She goes, oh. come and have a look. She'll go, come and have a look at my book. Like that. <laughs> so, Matthew, you don't Paul? be camera shy. <laughs> Paul Holmes accent. is the veggie as well since he was six or six or seven. But why is it? Is it because you want to be? Is it because like? Uh, me personally, I just got fed up of eating meat. Okay. I, I just eaten enough, and then all of a sudden, I just lost interest. Well, every time I ate it, it just like. I don't need this no more. You you find how about how about chicken? I don't no, eat. He doesn't I, eat that either. I don't eat that. I hey, don't Josie, eat anything in that respect. So how about fish? Are you you're a pescatarian? Yeah, you'll eat fish. I, I'll eat fish. Okay, yeah. so you're a pescatarian. Okay. Yeah. Should we go back to the time where we should tell Savannah and Paul where you lick the window for ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> you lick the window for ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were heavily intoxicated. <coughs> that was heavily intoxication with tequila shots. Oh, that I love tequila. I love tequila. Begged the, that she begged these people in um Cold Rock for ice cream. She's like, please. Because they were closed. And, and they, they were really closed. Felt like ice cream. And they were like, they're like, sorry, we're closed. Two minutes later, they come out with a scoop of ice cream for us. Oh, and then right. I dropped, Isn't that, nice? that was in Bondi Beach. Yeah, wow. and then I dropped mine, remember? Yeah, because I was licking the wind I was licking their window. Like I was going, please, like I need an ice cream. Is anyway, that a, a, like an ice cream parlor? Yeah. yeah. And was, yeah. I really, really felt like an ice cream and I was pretty he heavily intoxicated. So I'm gonna ask a question. What's your best flavour? What's the flavour you go for? Oh uh, pokey pokey. All of them. Pokey pokey? <laughs> What's that one? <laughs> I love bubble gum. Have you ever had bubble gum? Yeah, yeah. I've got in your pocket. Yeah, I've had that. No, actually, bubble gum, the blue one. And then when no. you uh, like, when you like pull, pull out your tongue, it's black or blue. Yeah. What's this? Uh, I don't miss it. I can't remember the taste. Animals I love never understand. Yeah. So do you eat eggs? I don't know. So you, you don't eat eggs? No. So do you have a lot of tofu, mushrooms? Not really. Not even um, mushrooms? Oh no, I eat mushrooms when I when I buy them. But Silvana, do you know what Eljana is? What's Eljana? That just sounds rude. Yeah, I know it does, isn't it? What? It's a chicken place. A chicken oh place. right. <laughs> what that, was, that was random, Tanisha. Why did you say that? Oh, I come up on the TV and I was like, I could go for Eljana right now. You just had like, <laughs> oh, now my bird's talking. <laughs> you can make um, nice stuff mushrooms. You can make stuff capsicum. Mm, yeah. No, I, um, I, I, I don't drink milk. I don't eat bread. Um, I, I just, basically, I just basically eat what I want to eat and not all the processed stuff. Do you, eat, do you eat pasta, like pesto pasta? Uh, See, yeah. she said pasta. No, it's pasta. 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 Yeah, because no, that's, pasta. That's, that's the pommy, like pasta. Like my, my yeah, see? like that too. No, no, no pa pasta. pasta to me. Pasta, pasta to me. Is, no. How do you say it, Tanisha? Pasta. pasta. See, no, Paul? Pasta. Oh, come on. Oh, you can't have a bloody God. go at me because I say pasta. <laughs> Yeah, no, but that's your accent. No, that's your accent pasta to me is the bloke that's who's in the church. Are you making noises? Oh, no, Messi, Messi, but, Messi but, but pasta. When you, when you, but Paul, how you say it sounds like the pasta from the church. No, yeah. it's pasta. It's you, like you, pasta. Pasta. Because it sounds like pasta. <laughs> you see? Yeah, Ange says it's a vicar. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. What's, the, what's that mean? You don't know what a what's vicar is. What do what you, do you eat, eat, Paul? I, I eat whatever you know. 
Um, I eat a lot of fish and a, a few other odds and ends that I find. Um, but, you know, I eat past, pasta. Do you eat lasagna? Lagangi, no. What? <laughs> Lagangi. Lega yeah, because the way you the way you spell it actually is like almost pronounced like that. Josie <laughs> making the best lasagna. I mean, we're wogs, man. We, we 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 were cooking before we were walking. Well, I did say I'd come over tomorrow and visit her, but you know, it's all good. Sorry, I've got mother-in-law duties. Mother-in-law duties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the six monthly visits. Boy. Six oh, okay. Months. So you you have to go every six months, do you? No, that's not true. No, we, we go as often as we can, to be honest. I'm just being a beach. Every two months. <laughs> Man, how often do we go and visit your mum? Don't know. That's that's my husband's answer. Don't know. <laughs> how often do you see your mum, Tanisha? Normally, like, every week, but it's so hard with work now. Yeah. Yeah, but never, never lose, t you know, touch. Yeah. Never lose touch. I don't know why I'm saying that. It just suddenly had to come out. Oh, wow. I just work so much now, and I work further than I used to. So it's so hard. I get home so late. Mm. Yeah, but life isn't just a job. Yeah, it's I know. Life, you know. Yeah. We what's that saying? We work to leave, leave to work. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I've um, let my hard way. I don't give a shit about work anymore. Well, Joe, what time did I finish work? It was um, like, like almost seven o'clock today. Mm. And she's in wow. Hornsby, so then it takes another like hour to get home. Five minutes so to that's get like home. eight o'clock. By the time and she eats, it's like one o'clock. The dog, and then I was like, Corey's at work till midnight because he's a prison officer. And I'm like, I can't be bothered going to the shop. I'm just going to order Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> what about the food? Can, can what I do you do, Joss? I, I'm a merchandiser. Didn't get that. <laughs> Sorry. I say you didn't get that, did you? What did you say? Did. You said you ordered Chinese, and I said, what about the food? <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you ordered <clears throat> Okay, there's only two of them, right? Tonight we ate Chinese, funnily enough, and we only Shut paid up, 45 bucks. Blimey. Nisha ordered Chinese, and there's only two of them, and they paid Plus over $75. $75? $75? You lied to me. 75 bucks. She ordered um, honey chicken, friggin' everything on the menu. No, it was 60 but with delivery. It comes yeah, but you pay fifteen dollars for delivery. I think so. I don't know. Well, you get that free normally if you're um, close. So I got a. Large where where they drive from? She probably did no one. A honey chicken, a sour pork, Mongolian beef, two soup, and a prawn chips. What What does your mum do, Tanisha? Because she's on call. What does she do? Um, do I'm a Oh, I pause at 3 a.m. Mum's a operations manager for a disability company. She runs a program at, in disabilities. Um, it's like a Monday to Friday oh. day school for the disability. But when she's on call, means she's on call for the whole company. So, for example, if there's – have you ever heard of the place called Picton? No. So yeah. that's I like, have, um, but it's in Britain. <laughs> yeah, well, it's quite a while away. It's like an hour and a bit away. So, for example, if there's a house down there. Say they need staff or an incident happens, my mum needs to get in the car and drive all the way to Picton to go oh. solve it. It could be at 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. No, oh, wow. I think she's only on call like once a month or something or once a fortnight. That's hectic. Yeah, but if you're not seeing her, you wouldn't know, would you? When this baby comes. Oh. No, she won't. She won't be able to do that when the baby comes. Paul, no. why are you picking up on that for? Why did you? Why are you picking up that scent for? That scent. Like, why are you picking up about not seeing her mum? I've no idea. It just comes out. I, sometimes it just happens. 
Wow. Mm. How did you, can I tell you guys, how did you get into what you do? Like what, what, it's a gift. You had it from birth. When did you notice? Go on, Suwana. It's your turn again. <laughs> okay. I'll I'll say, I'll say, yeah, no, I actually it. started seeing things from when I was young. I'd see things and I, I just knew things and I didn't know how I knew them. And um, I, I, and like I couldn't even tell people because when I first, even my mum thought I was nuts. <laughs> and I've actually seen things and, um, and then I, I found, I, I actually tried to shut it off. And, um, and it wasn't until I had a couple of traumatic things happen to me that it's opened it back up again. And then it just happens that Paul's like that too. And I guess that's probably why we hit it off as well. You know, that was something we had in common as well. So yeah. is there a difference between you and Paul? Like, you know, like is a psychic and a, psychic and a medium the same thing or no, is that different? No, they're two different things. Um, yeah. uh, do you know, I, I just know that I am. That. I, can't, I can't tell you what they mean. I think one way is one way you see and one way where, where well, you see. Because he channels. He, and sometimes when he does the readings that we're on, we're on Facebook, I can tell he doesn't, it's not all the time, but there are times where he is channeling and I, because I know him that well now, I can tell the difference when he's doing that. So he talks differently, yeah. And that's yeah. actually spirit talking through him. Who mm. found you first? Did my mum or my sister? Your mum. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hang on. You yeah, know, it was your mum because your mum then brought your sister on. So I actually told your mum that there was going to be a new baby coming. And uh, I did. Uh, your mum had never come on before. And uh, I think she was surprised because then we found out your sister was having a baby. And then we found everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you actually had predicted there was a baby coming in the picture. Yes. Yeah. And your mum said. Hang on a second. Where... When was this? <laughs> oh, no, no. This was. How, where, how long ago did Lee come on? But uh, we, she hadn't come on before. And I told her that there was a baby coming or someone she knew. Were you already. the one that said it was twins? No. I swear, Mum only said that a couple. No, weeks I think that was me. Been. That might have, been, might have been me. I can't remember. Someone said it. It might have been. I don't. Denise, you have. It was me. me. What? <laughs> who? What? What? Who was me? What? You're having twins. She was the first one that came on here out of your whole family. Yeah. yeah. Wow. No, but you know, and then and then, like we say, we've well, got there's to a high possibility that me, Shania, or Brittany, Mel's daughter, could have twins because there's twins in our family, and in our family, it's always Mister Generation. So there's always like the last set of generation from us missed it, and we're due yeah. to have it. <gasps> it. So Paul's talking about you. You're gonna have twins. You I'm know, telling you right now, if I have twins, my mum can have one and I'll have one. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Thanks. That's why That's why you're experiencing in life now what you're experiencing, all the stresses and that, because when you do have your twins, you're going to be able to cope better because you've been through so much stress that you're actually, your actually coping mechanisms are going to be so much easier to and deal I'm with. And I'm not in any groups. I never participate. What? I think she means even if she sees... If people um, doing readings, she doesn't participate. This may have been her only one. So she must have been drawn to you guys. Yeah, mm. I think so. The majority of people are. that They just suddenly appear and you go. But then it, we get those people, you've most probably seen them, where they just go, give us a reading, give us a reading. That, that but you know what? It's actually fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, like but that's why I'm saying it. Live. It's good. That's, that's why I'm saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Pay for a reading. Like, stop being a tight ass, like a Italian wog tight ass. <laughs> I don't know, so if you just pay for a reading already. Yeah, but you know what? I, I, I'm i not trying to be like whatever, but I, I feel like sometimes I, I can have a spiritual side of me too. I don't mean to sound like a, a dick about it, but you know, everybody's got it. Everybody's I, got it. It's whether you tune into it or not. It's funny because nine times out of ten, when I say something, like I'll say to my husband, like I manifest something and I'll go, this is going to happen and this is going to happen like this, this, this and that. 
And nine times out of ten, it happens exactly how I've, I've predicted and said it. And again, yeah. what the fudge? It like does it see? Like it's just it's crazy. And he goes, "How do you know?" I said, "I don't know. I just know. I don't know." Or, or maybe I'm just an case? overthinker. Yeah. Are we overthinkers? Sometimes we all overthink. The bird. He's at it again. He wants a kiss from you. He was doing that. What was he doing? The theme of he was whistling to the theme of what? Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Before he was doing the theme of Jurassic Park. My dog is asleep, and I'm trying to have quiet time so the dog sleeps tonight. And the birds singing. <laughs> I was trying to get my attention. Jackson, it's eleven o'clock. Go to bed. Ah, uh, we. I'm actually going to go to bed now too. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll let you have some quiet time. Well, it's 11 11, <laughs> make a wish. But it was nice that you guys came on. It was lovely. No, You're, no. Oh, my God, I've got to put this up. Look what your mum said. You lot talk too much. Says you. I get it from you. I only get it from the best. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I didn't. Well, I'm glad. I'm, I'm, I shat. Um, I'm, um, hang on. What was it? I we was should actually. Say. No, do my words, do my words just didn't. Sorry. Do you do private parties? Maybe we should do a private party. Well, yeah. didn't we, didn't we, weren't we going to do one of them? Uh, we, we try. we set one up, but that we didn't have many interested people. So we oh, thought, oh, well, well, we'll, we'll wait for a while. Maybe later on. Don't no, what I mean is, like, do you do, like, private parties where, say, if it's not live and then we pay you individually and do, like, a private party? With, yeah, like, that's a good idea. All our yeah, like, like, like you mean go people. online, go online, but it's not on Facebook? Yeah, like, say, for example, if me, my mum, my auntie, Joe's. Yeah. All of us, we did like a private, say like, you know, for example, if you come to our house, but instead of it, we'll just do it on like a Zoom thing, just us, so it's not exposed Yeah, yeah, we everyone. can do that. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Maybe, maybe when you're... Yeah. Yeah, that sounds well, like if you guys want to do, want to do something show. like that, yeah, you let me know and we could set something up. We want Ken to be here too, so she can do it. Yeah, yeah. we're still... I want to... We want a reading. We're kind of scared that our friend's moving to Perth. Hey, Joe. Oh. <laughs> hey, you're you moving to Perth? No, no we're, our other friend, our other girlfriend. Their right. other friend. She's met, some, she's met someone, like a friend, and he moved to Perth and she's over there at the moment on a holiday. Oh, oh she, she won't be able to come back then? I don't think so. We don't think well, so. Well, if COVID oh. gets worse, I don't know. It depends because the only borders that are shut at the moment are ours, Victoria. Yeah. So the Mania and South Australia have closed. Tasmania and South Australia have closed too. Oh, even South Australia? Yeah, South Australia and Tasmania have closed. Okay, so but you guys are okay and Western Australia, Perth, whatever, it should be so all right. So far, so far in Queensland. Mm -hmm. uh, Anastasia Palaszczuk shuts the hell up. <laughs> That's our that's our pre, uh, prom, our Queensland premier. She's such a yeah. Anyway, <laughs> well, we oh. get we get it all the time. We've got our prime minister, and they say one thing. I, to be honest, I don't even know what's going on because I don't watch the news. I don't read newspapers. Don't go online and look at it. So uh, people will tell me, "Oh, we're in a lockdown." What are we? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, your prime minister, Paul, they're not very happy with him. No, Boris. Oh, no. no, Boris then, Johnson, Johnson, whatever his name is. But Boris, do you guys Boris. have? Do you guys have state premiers like we do? Like, no. so no. you don't have like Queensland, New South, but like England. No. Oh, sorry, my husband say no. Okay, no, sorry. We don't. <laughs> no. Well, he's been to England. He's been there. Yeah. No. They, don't, they don't have states. We've got, we've got counties. Actually, you know what, Jokes? Matt what that looks like Paul. Counties. Actually, you could be his brother. Who? Can you show Matt? Your husband. Look, look, this is what my husband looks like. Matt, he's actually look like twins. <laughs> <laughs> he does, eh? He actually <laughs> does. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> he's even got the same haircut as Paul. <laughs> oh, my God, Paul. I never thought of that. Look, I'm so I'm so 
somewhat married to you. <laughs> show, show closer. Show in front on. Yeah, Matt, can you look front on? Just look. Hi, say hi, everybody. Hi. They look similar, don't they? And this is a oh, my baby. goodness. I reckon we look alike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's an, it's an English thing. Have you got blue eyes, Paul? No. No, my, my husband's got blue eyes. Ah. Can you say? But what's what's your surname? It's not Calvert, is it? No, definitely not. <laughs> not a Calvert? No. no. <laughs> definitely not. Or, or a Butterworth? <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> no. Look at a bit, maybe cousins. You never know in life. You just never know. No, that's true. Three, three but degrees, but we degrees. are all related. We are all related. Yeah, well, Adam and Eve, wasn't it? Well, Didn't there you go. Know? They started it off, so we we're all related somehow. But then someone cheated along the way. Yeah. There yeah. was che cheaters along the way because then they became like different color people. Yeah, no, but that's no. whatever that means. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Getting worse. <laughs> you. Messi, say something. What? Say something, <laughs> Mum. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, All right, well, go I'm going to head off, guys, because um, I'm going to go to bed. But oh, it's nice. It was call. nice having you on. <laughs> you can't. You can't leave now. Why? I'm going to leave now. No, no, you can leave us now, but you can got to talk to Paul because he's still one thirty. No, it's two. It's two twenty in the morning, in the oh, afternoon my, now. Oh my god, we've we've, uh, been, we've been talking for more than an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we've been talking for a bit. <laughs> But right, I, 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 I haven't gonna, done the show, so I'm, I'm full of beans. Are you going to be going to come on tomorrow, Paul? I hope so. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably what be on tomorrow. So um, you get notifications, Tish? No, may, maybe around 7. So what yeah, day don't you go on? Don't we go on? We don't do Monday, Wednesday or Friday. But you don't know, no, sometimes on a whim we might decide to go on. So, do you Facebook give you like a time, like a day that you don't allow, or you can make your own rules? No, we can go whenever we want, but we have to marry up our time zones because, yeah, yeah we've because of the hours, the difference in hours. And like I work during the week, so I can't go on during the day, and you know, so we've got to try and match it up somehow. Have you guys tried to do, um, what's that, TikTok? No. Have you there's done TikTok? Of, there's heaps of readers on TikTok, live on, oh, is on it? TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, you heaps, should try it. Oh, I might check it out, actually. Yeah, didn't even, check that I, out. We thought that was just a short video. No, no, there's lives. There's lives on, on, on TikTok. Oh, Ooh. we're going to have to try it out, Paul. Yeah, have we'll have to look on TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> tic I think you actually get paid for the views too. If you get views or likes or whatever, like, yeah. Oh, we'll have to check it out. I didn't check know that. Wow. I'll be, your, I'll, I'll be your advisor here. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, can be, person. Oh, well, you can be the marketing person. Oh, well, congratulations. Congratulations on your little love. That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't pick it up, Tanika. I picked I it know, up. I know. I never really picked it, eh? Mm. <laughs> I'm good at this stuff. See what I mean, guys? See? Like yeah. it's yes. Like something it, that was like the match. You're match. intuitive. You're intuitive. Mm hmm uh, All right. Well, good All right, guys. And enjoy. I'll catch you nice tomorrow night. night. All good right. Night. Good night. It's okay. Nice to see you anyway. Night. Stay safe. Bye. Thanks for the Hello, chat. Hello, everyone. See ya. Bye. Bye. Okay. All right. I suppose we've been. Hi, CC. Uh, we're actually about to. Uh, we're actually. We've been on for a while now. So we're actually about to go off. I'm so sorry. But we're, we're going to be on the same time tomorrow. And um, I just want to say bye to everyone. And um, Paul, thank you. It was a nice surprise. <laughs> I thought I'd give you a surprise. Yeah. All right. Yeah. See you guys. Bye. You take care. Nice to see you Bye. all. Bye. 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 Bye.